This episode of the Esoteric Order of Roleplayers is brought to you by the generosity of our backers on Patreon. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And visit our Patreon page at patreon.com slash esotericrp to find out how you can become a backer too. Although all of our episodes come with an explicit content warning, please be aware that Monster Hearts encourages players to explore particularly dark aspects of their characters. In other words, this is our equivalent of a premium cable TV series. You've been warned. Esoteric Order of Role Players presents Monster Hearts with Desiree Valdez as the MC. figure out why I got one point docked. <laughs> I've been like scrolling through this document over and over yeah. to find the comment that tells me mm-hmm. why. No. Yeah. Uh, that is, that's I definitely am sinister. questioning a lot about my life and all of this. <laughs> well, the what am I doing? No. Why? <laughs> Just because. Never get over that. Just because. Uh, Alright, well, right, I y'all. cannot find my Monster Hearts PDF anywhere. I mean, we can definitely proceed. I'm just annoyed because I wanted to take a I'm just wondering how many other people are staring into the abyss right now. Me. Just like I am. Yep. You're with me, Jen. Staring yeah. into the abyss of Yuletide. I tried searching <laughs> monster <laughs> hearts in my... Uh, the abyss of wondering what to buy people for Christmas. Oh, oh it's fuck that shit. It's pain. Yeah. Buy them experiences. Don't buy them things. I'm just telling you right now. Okay. Uh, it's even worse. Oh, God. I went to a Christmas party last night, and one of the people there, a really nice lady, she's like, yeah, I'm having my family over. We're going to do a white elephant gift exchange. No, and no. I, like, hit myself in the side of the head. I'm like, no. duh. Yeah, that, that's genius. I only have to buy one gift, and... Everyone gets a gift. Exactly. <laughs> Oh. Maybe yeah. next, is it too late? It's too late this year. Oh, We're going to talk about it for next, next year. Yeah, you better all do it. Yeah. All right, so, Jade, you're doing business-related things. Do we have any... Oh, oh shit, we're recording. Um, we are. Mm. We're in it. Are you... Do you have any club business? No club business. Okay, I'm lighting the storing candle. Mm. Excellent. Yes. Thank you. Look at that. Category is... I hate myself for loving you. <laughs> oh. It's the song that's on right now. No, it's good. It's I like so it. appropriate. Uh, yeah. So we'll just uh, go there. Yeah, let's do that. I hate myself for loving you. All right, so think about that. Think about your life. Think about your choices. <laughs> no. <laughs> I can't hear no, I can't, I can't hear not think about my life or my choices. Think about your character's life. Think about your okay. character's choices. Your character's life choices. Your, all of the above. Um, I want to just remind everybody, because I was like thinking about, like, just in terms of rules and regulations and all that kind of authoritarian shit that Capricorns love. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> so I just want to make sure. Fired. I know. Um, <laughs> Let's see here. I just I was sitting around like, thinking about rules and regulations. Oh, like you do. God so hot. <laughs> <laughs> Speaks to me on a deep level. Mm. All right. Um, let's see here. So I just want to remind you. So our game here. Mm-hmm. Our game is a conversation, oh, right? Okay. So like role playing is a conversation. This is the this is the philosophy of this game, and and I do believe that that is true. I believe that it is a, a great conversation we get to have, and so. That's the section you came across as you were Yeah, I was, re- I was, that's what I meant. That's what I oh, said. Okay. I was like delving oh. into the Oh, you rules. said you were just thinking about them. 
and stuff. Oh, yeah. well, I was thinking... But you thinking, were reviewing the rule book. I was thinking of reviewing the rule book. I see. Mm. Okay. Anyway, Carry wait on. for Carry Selma. On. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Mm. Hello. And hello. Hello. Okay, I want to make eye contact with everybody. Okay. <laughs> so... I am not your enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, thank you. I'm here to facilitate this conversation. <laughs> so if any conversation, I think we need to bear in mind that everybody gets their turn. Everybody gets to tell their own story in their own way. Like, if you know how a story will end, you don't necessarily want to deprive that person of the pleasure of, of telling that story in the way that they want to tell it. Hmm. So, but if you have input to add to that part of the story, feel free to add, but, like, be courteous of everyone as we have this conversation together. And so I'm in charge of all those side characters, as you know. Um, so I help to frame the scenes and manage the setting, and I'm not against you, I'm working with you, um, and I want your, I'm like the biggest fan of all of your characters, like, I really am, like, I love all of your characters, and so I just want to make sure that we're sculpting this beautiful, you know, thing together, but that we're also being conscientious of each other's space, and making sure that each of us get to tell the story in the way that we want to tell it. So... With that being said, mm-hmm. Renee is back with us. Yay! Yay! And um, I wanted to give her a little bit of the, you know, just the introduction, introductory questions. Okay. And to do that, yeah, so we're going to just kind of delve a little bit in terms <clears throat> of the last time we saw your character. Which, yeah, so the, what I sent yeah. you in the email was yeah. the last thing I wrote down in notes that I had. Of course, yeah. And no. that could have been the end of any one of those episodes. Exactly. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> You're like, this is useless. <laughs> <My bad. laughs> Once again, my notes have failed me. Yeah, the yeah. time I've had like a word half written and I'm like, why did I Because I also have notes here and I'm like, oh, oops. Well, yeah, no, okay. don't even worry about it. No, 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 no sweat. Oh, so, yeah. um, so with that being said, I just want to make sure that I'm clear on this. So, so the last time we were with Maury, um, she was talking with Dr. Carruthers about the hex that had been placed upon her by a teenage witch, um, Rodriguez. That was a very witchy giggle. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, exactly, and I think that um, you know, with that understood, that that you're you have this hex. Can you describe the hex that you have on yourself? Yes, I cannot harm anyone. Right. But harming people is how I live. So <laughs> this is uh, pretty tough. Yeah. It is tough. It is yeah. tough. And at the same time, hmm. you were able to destroy the mortician. Like, he's his still beating heart, as far as you know, is still in the desk of Dr. Carruthers at the high school. Yeah. Very exciting and bizarre. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so I just want to make sure that that's clear. <laughs> Trey that... McCobb. Yeah, yeah, I can't. Trey McCobb. <laughs> So I think, uh, what? There you go. (laughs) So with that being said, I'm curious if Maury has, still has that, I mean, I know you're a ghoul, but if you still have that thirst for revenge, because there was a skin that I was reminded of that you may want to do if you kind of are done with being a ghoul. I don't know if you feel done with being a ghoul. A little bit. Okay. okay. You, de- you definitely had the most complete arc. You really did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I feel okay. like you had a very, like, actualized, like, mm-hmm. becoming mm-hmm. an ending, maybe? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah great. journey. A ghoul's so, journey. Yeah. <laughs> what I will present, so I have... I Next have... Hallmark movie. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be gay, though. Don't get me started yes. on those fuckers. It'll be gay. A ghoul's yeah. Christmas. Make it gayer. All right, so... <laughs> I think um, yes. I have three skins here that um, we haven't yet utilized. Well, this is All right. Mm. Did you see this coming? I didn't see this mm. coming. Mm. Yeah, because by the rules, you can switch skins between mm-hmm. stories. Yeah, and seasons. if you want, like, like this could be, like, the one-off, like, like we get the supremacy is like this is like a made for TV movie version of the series that you That's know right. and love, right? right. Yeah. And yet it's really kind of strange in Twilight Zone. It's like, why are they doing it that way? <laughs> yes. But you're still doing it. We're still doing it. They'll the never same... release it on DVD. No, no, they no, 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 no. You'll be looking yes. forever VHS to find only. it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hello, yes. an Ewok story. That's all I gotta say. Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah. all I will say is, um, there are three skins before me. <clears throat> And the final decision is yours to make. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so I have, I have the queen, which is mm. one I would be playing. But um, So the queen is um, popular, dangerous, like bitchy, and trans. commanding. The um. queen is a powerful clique who serves as their gang. Loyalty and control are crucial if the queen is to retain their power. But everyone... Was she Judy? Would Judy mm-hmm. have been a... No, oh, Judy's okay. an NPC. So none of all the NPCs well, as far as... But I mean, if she were a player character... In terms of archetype-ish. Ish. Yeah. Ish. Yeah, Ish. okay. But this is a more insidious power where this is like more about just 
raining over everything. Mm. Is it supernatural? It is. It and you, is. Have telep- you have telepathic connection with your gang members. Mm. Mm. Um, you are the head of the toughest, coolest, most powerful clique around. Wow. They're armed. They're connected. Um, any of these things. They're talented or they're, or they're occultists. So this is you being a cult leader. Okay. Cool. That's interesting. The Infernal. So yeah. Infernal is tempted, impulsive, and in over their head. The Infernal has a demonic patron, someone who gets them things they want at an unspecified price. The Infernal plays with themes of temptation, addiction, and dependency. Mm. So this is basically mm. a demon. Mm. I'm a demon. Cool. And uh, that's, that's that. But that's similar to Ghoul. Mm-hmm. The third, which I think might be up your alley, is... Probably. The, I just saw um, the name. <laughs> Is a Cerberus. Yeah. Ooh, the Cer- do you have good eyesight? Uh, the, like, <laughs> what, what is the name? But I'm <laughs> the Cerberus. Um, Villagent, relentless, judgmental, and perpetually in between. In ancient times, Cerberus was a three-headed dog who guarded at the, the gates of the underworld, making sure the dead didn't escape and the living didn't enter. Now things are a little more complicated. They guard the hazy boundary between two worlds, trying to ensure that everyone remains in the place that they deserve to be. Mm-hmm. So I unfortunately have not seen Riverdale and not really don't have the time, um, but it says, think Jughead from the first season of Riverdale, caught between the world of the Southside gangs, and, why is Jughead in a gang, and the so-called innocence what of happened? Riverdale oh, proper. Because his, because his dad's a snake now. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, oh, yes, you know this. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I watched it. Okay, <laughs> add, that's fine, that's fine. That's, I just, I wish I had the time. Add in a dash of Gossip Girl or even Pretty Little Liars. <clears throat> So you can choose, but anyway, so... If I haven't seen any of those. I haven't either. <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. <laughs> it's not just me. Not no, no. Me, it's it's okay. I think it's pretty odd. Okay. We don't need it's media just, references. It's just basically... Um, to understand. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, if someone managed to slip past you, a damned and wicked soul hiding among the pure, you've tracked them down, gained two strings on them. They're just different little things. Mm-hmm. And your darkest self is you do your best to be a good boy, but you come from a very bad place. And boy is just, you know, yeah. does non gender I think Let's, they're speaking in dog terms. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Ah. yeah, it's full of all these dog metaphors. Yes. Yeah. Let's, okay, so let's face it. You're my dog guardian. Right. Yeah. It's so, like a goody little two-shoes. I don't think so. Of. I think it's no, a watchdog. No, no, well, finish reading The Darkest Self. It's The Darkest Self. So your darkest self is you do your best to be a good boy, but you come from a very bad place. Let's face it. You're a mangy, unlovable beast from hell. You were born to snarl and to bite. Anyone who's gotten close to you needs to be driven away violently if necessary. You must return to the shadows, dragging the damned da- back down there with you. You escape your darkest self when disrupted by a virtuous hero or when the power of true love tempers your resolve. Mm. So you're kind of like a little bad boy, but you're, you're kind of between both worlds. So mm. there's different things in here that you can look at. So I'll give you these three to look at. Okay. Quick, and you can see... Speaking of dogs. Oh, there's a dog. Oh, Yes. Mm. Okay. Our mascot. That's right. Yes. We're missing our service. We are missing. Yeah, yeah exactly. Mm-hmm. So, so I just want to make sure that that's clear in terms of that. Again, the agenda. Make each main character's life not boring. Keep the story feral. Say what the rules demand. Say what honesty demands. Mm-hmm. And let's. Well, we can go ahead and get started. So, let's see here. You all have. Do you all have a player sheet in front of you too? Yes, because uh, uh, that never the changes. Moves. Yes, the yes. moves. You got your player mm-hmm. sheet in front of you. Yep. Mm-hmm. Renee, you have a player sheet in front of you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. With yeah. all your stuff. Okay. Just get it. That's, oh, that's your. That's your. That's your former. Yeah, there you go. There there you, go. go. you got it. Yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> you got, you it. got it. All right. Yeah, you. So, um, let's get. Let's go ahead and get started. Unless you wanted to do. If you need more snacks, you're all good there. Oh, fun fact. Apparently, the Cerberus skin um, was specifically created for a fan. Oh, Aww. really? Mm-hmm. Oh, how nice. Hmm. That is cool. I love that. Okay. Maybe we should wait for Larkin's to return. We will. Take I'm just going to All right, whatever. get our music going here. Oh, cool. Mm, sure indeed. Oh, good. It's not doing the skippy thing. No, it's not. We... David figured that out, and I, I still don't know what happened, but he'll tell me later, I'm sure. So I thought that Kiraros would be more like the, the Punisher. Uh-huh. But, uh... You're more of the watchdog. Yeah. Mm. Um, that doesn't appeal to no, me okay. as much no. as the demon does. The Infernal? Okay. Uh, yeah. the infernal, oh! I think that I can see the yeah. Infernal, too, considering your relationship with, um... Carruthers. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. kind of evolving fairly naturally. Mm-hmm. Oh, that'd be fun. 
Well, this is a different character, right? It can oh, yeah. be. Oh, yeah. She's also new. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Totally new. I've seen him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it could have been the same. Like, if she wanted, oh, really? if she wanted to have the same kind of, like, person, but then they oh. kind of have changed. Like, it was... It Maybe was, she... Yeah, yeah she made a deal with the devil. Mm-hmm. Yeah. After she was yeah. freed from the hex, and then... Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Well, no, you haven't been freed from the hex yet. No, no! Well, then <laughs> Wait, I want what? to play another character. You have to navigate that <laughs> first. So I think you'd have to navigate how you but got out of that. But the would be less onerous if you don't have to eat people. Exactly. Right? Oh, oh yeah. wait a minute. So she's changing skins, but she still has the hex on her? Mm-hmm. Because she's still Mori. Yeah. Wow! Okay, <laughs> I thought it was a totally new character. It can yeah. be. It could have been either one. I think okay. I, was... I didn't make that clear at the beginning. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I think I was just granting from um, Larkin's comment yeah. about um, being able to switch skins yes. like, between seasons if yeah. you wanted to. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna stay with Maury. Yeah, exactly. Okay. But, but yet she may have the, she might have her ghoul condition, like or ghoulness, mm. taken from her. Like the demons, are like I can remove that ghoulness from you. Okay. So we can play through that. So you don't okay. have the hunger. You don't have the yeah. hunger anymore. Yeah. But you Which still is the really hex. annoying. It's hard to play that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, it is. Right? But you did a great yeah. job. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 No. It was no. feral as hell. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. 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 I think your maintenance was too scary. It was good. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that that's something. Just you can you can keep her, but we can change her. We can change like your appearance. Like your appearance might be a little different based on. Being the um, infernal, because then the infernal is going to have like the eye, the look, the eyes, the origin, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But, so you can we can talk about that too. Cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Cool. Awesome. All right then. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Mm-hmm. Um, I guess we'll we'll actually we'll just uh, get the Mori kind of character stuff done. Okay. Yeah. So what is your? Um, let me pull that up for myself. Okay. Well, the name's going to stay the same. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's like a lot of these supernatural romance shows, like. You know, after a few seasons, like everyone's, you know, the person who started out as a mortal is now a mummy or whatever the hell, you mummy, know, like, yeah. or whatever, you know, mm-hmm. like it, it often changes over time. Mm-hmm. So it's just reflecting that trope. Okay. So, skin. Um, name is the same. So, what is your look? The look could be quiet, frantic, venomous, spoiled, or spooked. Hmm. Could you repeat that? Quiet. Oh, it's on your you. sheet too. Oh, it is. Um, under yeah. identity, yeah. Look. Ah. Quiet, frantic, venomous, spoiled, spooked. Hmm. Do you want to roll it? Yeah. One, two, That's three, four, five. Um. And then so six, we're only six, six, and we roll on a six. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Two. Two. Frantic. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mark that down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're all just back to that. Yep. So yeah. So yep. make sure you mark that down. So frantic. Okay. Um, and then eyes, empty, calculating, burning, flickering, and piercing. Let's roll it. Five, one, piercing. 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 Yes. All right. All right. Yeah. And then origin, bartered soul, emissary, last chance, or legion, lackey, or chosen. I, I almost feel like you need to decide this because mm-hmm. based on your relationship with Dr. Carruthers and like, because she's kind of demonic. Yeah, I don't. I'm not saying what she's exactly, but she's kind of demonic. So yeah, what what do you think that is? The first one, bartered soul, seems really appropriate. Okay, mm-hmm. maybe I made a deal with her mm-hmm. to free me. Yeah. yeah. Well, how about you did make it? How about you did make okay. a deal with her? Yeah. yeah. Like, All this right. is what you've been doing after school. Got out. Yeah. Yeah. For extra credit. For extra credit. So she's like a is she a demon or? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then she's I'm like sort of a. You know, sub demon. Yeah, yeah. Like, see, because the infernal is extremely <laughs> like powerful. an intern yeah. demon. Right. So, so it says tempted, impulsive, and in over their head. The infernal has a demonic patron, someone who gets them yeah. things they want at an unspecified price. Mm, so she's right. giving you things. Yeah. Um, and then it's with the price. You don't know what it is, right? Yeah. <laughs> Jed, what? What are you doing? Shaking your damn body. Yeah. What's he doing? <laughs> Just eating hummus and going, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's loving it. I'm, I'm digging the hummus. So, and the, and and the, the drama. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact that you can like eat on a Sunday between the hours of 3 and 6. So nice. I'm just reveling in it right now. Anyway, carry Enjoy. On. So, Renee, can you read us what the darkest self of the Infernal is? Okay. You find yourself shivering, needy, and alone. The dark power will make some daunting, open-ended demands. Every demand fulfilled brings you closer to feeling whole again and removes one of the dark power's strings on you. Wow, how many strings would she have on me? Depends on how many deals you've made so far. Oh, oh boy. 
Wow. <laughs> yeah, we can talk it through. Okay. <laughs> you escape your darkest self when the dark power is out of strings. What? That's never going to happen. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 or you make a bargain with an even more dangerous entity. Mm. Uh-huh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Look what? Mm. Okay, so do you want to be... Let's see here. We have... Oh, this is so not consistent. Jesus. Um, so, okay, so you have to pick your hot, hot, cold, volatile, and dark. So do you want to you wanna be... Oh. You want the top of the Most bottom. volatile mm. and dark, or super dark and, dark and hot, basically, or dark and volatile. Mm. Um... Mm. Let's go volatile. Volatile two, dark one. Pretty much like me, also. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, um, kind of how Maury finished off anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Pretty much. So, so you have infernal moves are soul debt. <clears throat> you oh, owe a yes. debt to a dark power. Name it and choose two bargains it has made with you. Whoa. Okay. The dark power can gain strings. If it ever has five strings on you, trigger your darkest self. Whoa. Wow. Okay. So let's say for now. I'm just looking at this. I had no idea what you're gonna pick, so yeah. Um, so I have to pick one of these three: the dark recruiter, under pressure, or can't save myself. Like uh, that's one of my infernal. Yeah. Moves. There we are. Yep. And yep. then. Um, so that choose one more. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So. So there's dark recruiter. Yeah, and then there's bargains. So, and then you have to choose yeah, two so bargains. Yeah. Oh, and then you choose two bargains of the dark powers. So, one of these and two of these. Okay, thanks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ooh, well, Dark Recruiter sounds like the only cool one. Mm-hmm. When you bring <laughs> an innocent soul to the dark power, mark experience. Oh, an yeah. innocent soul. Does that mean you have to join the ROTC? <laughs> <laughs> the green boys and then and then bargains uh, um, choose two bargains uh, that the dark powers <coughs> made with you okay um, the power flows through you you can give the dark power a string in order to add a plus two to your next roll numbing it out you can give the dark power a string in order to remove a condition or up to two harm elsewise power you can give the dark power a string to use a move you don't have just this once this move can come from any skin Uncanny voices, you can give the dark power a string in order to realize a secret about someone you're talking to. Ooh. The owner of that character will reveal one of their secret fears, secret desires, Ooh, or, yeah. secret, or secret <laughs> strengths. They choose, they choose which one they reveal. Oh. And then strings attached. <laughs> <laughs> strings attached. They can, you can ask the dark power for something you really want. Really, really want. The MC will attach a price to the thing you want and hint at an undesired twist in its nature. If you play the, pay the price... You'll get what you're after. Mm. Okay, so I definitely want that one. Okay, strings attached? Yes. Okay. And then what's the other one? And And bear in mind that, yeah, like, whatever you think would be fun to use this episode, and then for only one more. Yeah. (laughs) So I get the most bang for your buck. (laughs) Because then you can always build them up when we we resume. So you were just kidding when everyone died. You said everyone died. Yeah. (laughs) Who said that? (laughs) Who said that you did? She said she listened to everything for the last 10 minutes. I said, oh, that's the part where we that's all That's when died. everyone died. Yeah. So were you still in the restaurant? What happened in the last 10 minutes? Oh, we're going to get we're gonna get into it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Because mm. then we have to figure out where Maury was. Mm-hmm. That's right. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to choose the last two. Okay. Yeah. So so uncanny voices and strings attached. Yeah. And then your sex move is that when you have sex, the dark power loses a string on you and gains a string on whoever you had sex with. Oh. Oh. So that's how you get her strings. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have all kinds oh. of sex. Have sex with Dr. Carruthers. She gets a string on herself. String on... Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's awkward. <laughs> yeah, that would be. All right. <laughs> Cancel things out. Hmm. And negates it somehow. Yeah. Just seduce Captain Steve, put like five strings on it. Five? <laughs> it's worth 0. 0.5 strings, I'm okay? Not, oh. I'm not <laughs> sure... Uh, whole string. I'm not sure we want Captain Steve consorting with dark powers. True. <laughs> that's a good point. He might already be doing that. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so let's get started. So really quickly, Maury, um, so you did hear everything that happened. <clears throat> oh, I need to I need to re- rewind. Um, I want you to say who you are and what you're playing. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, I don't want to interrupt your Hi, so Yeah, I have a mouthful. All right, well then let's start Sorry. with um, Jade. Just name who you are and and what your what skin you're playing. I'm <clears throat> returning as Rodrigo playing the witch. Great, thank you. Mm-hmm. Jeff, uh, I'm Colleen. I, p- I play the werewolf. Yes. 
Great, and I am Maury, mm -hmm. short for Morgan, and I am an infernal. Yay. Yes. Right. Uh, returning as Nyx, playing as the Hollow. Cool. You. And he's still and I chilling. Still got, I still got a in my mouth. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. I'm just in character right How now. very Lucian of you. I know, right? <laughs> Zero bucks uh, given. Seriously. <laughs> Okay, oh yeah. Quick, okay, turn that chair around. He turns his hat backwards and says... <laughs> <laughs> did you not decide to go steady, by the way? With them? Yes. You did, okay. Yes. I missed that, that part. Okay. Oh, okay. So I'm playing Lucian the Vampire. All right, okay. great. Good. He's now yeah. going steady. Yes, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, it's kind of nasty. We'll see um, how long it lasts. What? We'll see how long it lasts. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> so, Maury, you um, have been, um, you know, you, you've been out of school... It's Mike, July, it's, right? It's June. Oh, June. It's June. June. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just curious, um, you know, what's your summer job in the town? Because it's yeah. a touristy town. Yes. So it's not going to be the one I mentioned in the emails. Okay. Oh, I don't okay. need access to raw okay. meat anymore. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's going to work at a burger stand. Ooh. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, and eat the raw meat when the boss wasn't looking. I mean, I love raw. that idea. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I should have said, um, meat. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what's your summer job? Because hmm. you were a candy see. striper at the hospital for a while. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. But in the uh, tourist, like, the tourist machinery, the tourist engine that is Great Cliff, like, what are you... Because we have the we have the church, you know, people do historical guided like tours. Yes, and I want access to innocence that I can oh possibly. Oh my god! Yeah. 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 So like you're gonna you're gonna Sunday school. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll you help with the guided Servants tours. of the demon or devil or exactly. whatever. Exactly. So, yeah. so you assist with the guided tours of of the Great Cliff of the Our Lady of Open Arms. Yeah. And then the cemetery there, which is where you died. Yeah. So yeah. Okay, cool. So you, because yeah, because the church is like this, <laughs> so this yeah, yeah. The church is a very well-known spot and people come yeah. to see this beautiful church. So. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. And so what's your favorite thing to do in the summer? Um, I have to turn the ghoul off, right? Because I yeah, was going to yeah. say... You're that, changing gears. It's yeah, okay. yeah. She was like just people watching, sort of like what you were doing, except... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, oh. What Colleen was doing, but mm -hmm. um, stalking and staring at people. Like except this. not stalking, just staring and wishing <laughs> I could eat eat her. I'd eat him. I'd eat him. <laughs> <laughs> I'd eat all of these people. Good yeah. For yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so yes. Yeah, so instead, um, I like to um, uh, spend time in the church. Okay, <laughs> all right. Good. And um, using the holy water to draw satanic symbols in the floor and hopefully try to set it on fire. One of these days, right. hellfire is going to spring forth <laughs> <laughs> if I just cool. get this right. Great, cool. Yeah. Holding the dark power, just like, oh, amateur. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. So I think it's that... happen um, one day. Yeah, so that sounds really good. That's your favorite thing to do in the summer. It's cool in the church. It's nice. Yeah. Um, incense is there. Okay, and so what's an average morning for you? Like, morning of, of June 13th, which is the, the mm. day that I kind of brought to the, to the group here. Um, and they ended up at the restaurant London, USA to have various dinners with various people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so I'm curious, um, how was that day for you and how did you end up at London, USA? Um, let's see. They have bread bowls, by the way. Oh, know. that's right. The finer Red things bowls. don't have to be expensive. No. <laughs> In fact, with a low price from nine ninety nine. <laughs> Some bed bread bowl meal deal. All right. Yeah. So, oh yeah. So you're living with um, Mrs. Batillion. Batillion, who smells like butterflies oh, and God. God. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I had to pause the podcast because <laughs> I was laughing so hard. I could. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so on an average uh, morning you get up and then what do you do okay, and then it's also summertime. yeah and it's the summer and then what um you know what what wound you up at london usa right before this chaotic cacophony broke out wait wasn't there a concert or something it was like being that? planned it's being planned oh okay so a, a memorial for judy is being planned by rodriga and yeah, yeah okay it's gonna be so, awesome it is. yeah it's a pretty sweet lineup so maybe I want to read something uh, as a memorial to Judy. Oh. Maybe. 
Did you like, know her? And like a, no. like a, <laughs> <laughs> I'm imagining like Mean Girls style, like, you uh-huh. have been hurt by Judy. Mm-hmm. You raise your hand. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But like, <laughs> imagine how I could gain the trust of innocence by giving a eulogy of some sort. That seems true. very pious and You could do that. You know, do you yeah. want to be at the um mm. So you want do you want to like kind of get into the planning of the memorial yes, with, I do. with Rodriguez? Yes. But like in terms of Rodriguez and the hex that she placed on you which you still have on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But I don't feel like, yeah, I've, I've undergone this transition, and I don't feel the need to harm people anymore. I don't need to eat them. <laughs> Physically. And yeah, so, they're soul, but spiritually you want to devour them. <laughs> yeah, but that's not harming them. I'm helping them. <laughs> helping them to do what? Yeah, to How find it, to, uh, um, you're helping it's better you're for helping... everyone if they worship the devil. Yes. You're helping the dark power. <laughs> That's good. By doing this, yes. you're helping the dark power. That's right. yes. What's God done for anyone these days? <laughs> Thank yeah. you. What has he done for me lately? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so I like that. But you're so so. In order to do that, I'm curious how you have connected with Rodriguez. Like, what is that? How does that take place in terms of you maybe allowing her to assist with this? Like, what what's going on here? Mm. Mm. You threatened uh, to kill my grandmother. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, so, there's that. Before I hexed you, so. <laughs> I feel like maybe I yeah come to you and I ask look you know I was wrong (laughs) bygones yeah would you forgive me Rodriga wait you can offer bargains right oh hey yeah what about bargains (laughs) Mm. yes okay um oh yes thank you okay the no harm thing is great because it's totally mm-hmm. like, you know, like, well, Satan can't directly interfere in the affairs. You know, it's like that, okay. you get that a lot. That, like yeah. God, God and the devil can't actually fight each other, so they have to use their mortal agents kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah. What if God and the devil made a bet? <laughs> <laughs> and all of us lose. <laughs> So can I find, uh, or um, can I make a uh, uh, a deal with Dr. Carruthers yes. to find out a deep, dark <laughs> yes. secret about Rodriga? Ooh! Ooh. <laughs> that would compromise her somehow. Yes. I don't like it! <laughs> so yeah, the strings attached bargain. So I, you can ask, so Dr. Carruthers is your dark pal. <laughs> what? What is so funny? It took that turn. It took that turn. You know what? She's got <laughs> access to everyone's permanent records. It's true. It's just so you know. Record. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, so, so so you are serving Dr. Carruthers. She is the dark power you serve, and you yeah. can ask her for things that you want. That's sexy. Mm. So there's going to be a price to the thing you want. Mm-hmm. Um, the, this thing that you want, the secret. And, oh wait, where does it go? I can give the dark power, okay. You can give the dark power a string in order to realize Did we secret. already determine how many strings she has on me? So let's say you made the bargain to remove your ghoulishness, right? Yes. yes. So that's one string. string. Okay. The second string, I think there's a second one where... What does your backstory say? Yeah. Well, she back? has the hearts, right? She does. Um, uh, oh, you owe debts. Okay, give away three strings divided any way you like between the dark power and oh, the other characters. There you go. So yep. there's yeah. three total. So you definitely have one with Dr. Carruthers, and oh, that's yeah. removing your ghoulishness. You could give three. So there's... Yeah. You could give all three or give one to, uh, to Rodriga. Mm. Oh, that would make most sense, I think. Mm-hmm. So you'll get one, but the other one will... Yeah. Third. I want Dr. Carruthers to... She gets two. Two? Yeah. Okay. She so, either destroys the heart or keeps it. Fascinating. Uh, I don't know. Like, okay. Sealed somehow. I don't oh, know. she does have it sealed. She yeah, does. Yeah, but I want it. I want. I want it to. I, I don't even want her to have access to it. Oh. Mm. You know? so what are you going to do about that? That's interesting. Well, this is the deal I'm making. Is okay. That, so, like, but she, you're not the one. You're not the one who's at the advantage. She's right. the one who's to exact a price. Yeah. So, okay. She says, "I will keep that safe." She knows where it is. I know where it is. Yeah. You don't... Wait. Dr. Carruthers knows yeah. where it is. Yeah. 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 I know where it is, Dr. Carruthers. I know where it is. The price that... Um, I will promise you... Yeah. No one will have access to this. I need it for my own purposes. I cannot destroy it. But I promise you... <laughs> I promise you it will never come up again. And it will never harm me. It will never or harm ever... you. Okay. No. <laughs> ever again. It will never harm you ever again. But the price is steep. Oh, what's the price? What is it? Tell me! Because it's like one of my worst fears is that heart like getting coming back? And, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. That's the heart of a guy that turned me into a ghoul, I you know, guys. I know. I'm picturing the heart running around little baby legs. No! <laughs> <laughs> little chubby baby legs. Yeah. Sweet. I have nightmares of opening my backpack and it's like there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or your lunch pail. So my lunch pail. Morty's good. alive now? Mm-hmm. Oh. Hmm. So like your hair is starting to grow in again. Yeah. 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 She looks like an she looks like an average girl. So that's what she got. Yeah. yeah. My my teeth are like not all sharp and wow. Mm. So I would say that that's yeah. that's the exchange. So because it's yeah. the ghouling the ghouling the ghouling was. <laughs> <laughs> the I ghoul, think, ghoul personally, ghoul. I like the ghouling too better. I just think it's yeah. more of an interesting. Yeah, so the ghouling, yeah. the ghouling took place, um, and the fact that um, so you get in exchange for that, mm-hmm. um, the fact that the heart, you know, you get to benefit from the fact that you're now a living mortal again, Woo-hoo. that you are a servant to this dark power, right. um, and just trying to think um, in terms of the bargain. Um, she promises you that it won't. Um, yeah, it will never. It will never harm you again. It's impossible. I'm just telling you right now. It's not possible. Great. Uh, you have to believe me, and <laughs> if you want, <laughs> literally have to. Um, but um, that's all I can tell you is just give you that reassurance. Yeah. And I the mean, price. I just... Yeah, I mean the price. You know, you're going to discover that eventually. Oh, wonderful! I'm not <laughs> telling you what the price is. How do you feel about when she says that? Do you think you can trust her? I feel like I don't have a choice. Right. Um, is yeah, she can use it against me, um, you know. Yeah. And if she makes a promise that she won't, I mean, that's the best I could possibly hope for. Mm-hmm. And it's, um, like a, it's a promise that's like a threat, really. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's so true. it can't hurt you as long as she doesn't let it hurt you. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's the yeah. protector of it. It seems like right now. Yeah. But yeah, all I can do is promise it will never hurt you. And I mean, the price again is. You're going to eventually <laughs> experience it, but not on this realm. Whoa! Ooh. Whoa! Oh, okay. Dude, that doesn't sound ominous at all. <laughs> yes. Okay. The deal is done. Okay. <laughs> Let's shake claws. Or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you shake on it. You shake on all of your bargains. She always shakes on it. Oh, she does? Okay. Yeah. And her hand always feels like a little hot. Like it's like oh, hotter yeah. than, it just feels hot. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Her hand's always very hot. Not sweaty, but hot. Mm, like oh. dry heat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's better than the human heat. That's know? right. She gives amazing back rubs. Whoa. Ooh. Y'all, okay, so why are you at London, USA on this fine evening? This June evening? <laughs> well, what is the secret of um, uh, Rodriga? Did I get that? Yeah, so, so that's another piece. So we have, let's see here, I think we're conflating strings with bargaining so oh okay so you have two strings dr Cronus has two strings on you okay and then rodriga has one string on you because i think why why does rodriga have a string on you uh because of the hex yeah okay. that's what i thought okay i just want to clarify make sure okay. it's clear okay okay <laughs> so um in terms of the secret dark demon dr carruthers yes tell me the darkest secret of rodriga well, that's the oh, thing. Yeah. Against her. Do that? well, that's just... that's the thing. So I so so you can give Dr. Crothers another string. So okay. she's gonna have three strings on oh, you now. Jesus. You are two away from a darker self, but she will, <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, Dr. Crothers will have <laughs> exactly. Let's, yeah. let's let's make sure you mark those down. Yeah, mark oh, down your yes. strings right now. Yeah. Okay. So, oh yes, here we are. So we have. Um, so Dr. Crothers has one more string on you in order to realize the secret about someone you're talking to. Mm. So I want to know when you two <laughs> have talked. And Rodriga is the one who gets to decide what the secret is. So reveal secret fear, secret desire, secret strength. Uh-huh. And Rodriga gets to choose what that secret is. Ooh, so okay. So she's going to be sharing it with you. Okay. So, um, so tell me how you two decided to meet and interact again, since you wanted to kill her grandmother at one point in time. Yeah. Um, please tell me how that takes place. Okay. Um, so where do you spend time, Rodriga? You, it seems like... In the last scoops two. Scoops two. Scoops two. Scoops two. That's right. You're wearing crazy pink shorts, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
I'm imagining yeah. all of my like hair is like piled into this little hairnet with like one of those little topless like visors. Visors. Uh-huh. Oh, and it's like same pink, like Pepto Bismol pink with scoops too. Yeah. I'm also picturing that it's like got foam and it's one of those. Oh like, yeah. Well, because you get sweaty. Yeah. It has to absorb the it's sweat like, kind of a little. Slightly. That's so gross. Isn't that nasty? Sorry. Okay. So it scoops too. So you're gonna go and like you're on a break. Yeah. From the, hey, Rodrigo. And you talk to her. Oh, okay. So this is the morning of June 13th. <clears throat> okay. Oh. All right. Write that down. All right. And so, Maury, how do you look now? Describe your Yeah. Mm-hmm. So before, I looked almost skeletal. Yeah. Like, I had dark circles under my eyes. Mm-hmm. My eyes were a strange color. Oh, your teeth they fixed. Looked... Yeah, her teeth Oh, yeah. They look now. like normal, normal human teeth now good. instead yeah. of, uh, so you know. Jagged points. Right. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like that are... it... yeah. Remember the one time I scared the... the girl in the bathroom God, yes. yeah. smiling at her yeah, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> but no longer yeah yeah so and so now my my flesh is filled out mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. a normal person mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. your hair um, is shiny it has a luster yeah. to it yeah it's not sticking out like yeah. it was before oh what's your hot oh oh hot isn't that hot oh yeah no. minus one. Oh. <laughs> she's an so, average yeah <laughs> Yeah, but it's a definite step up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 Right. Yes. And it probably I'm not quite recognizable at first. Mm. You'd have to look at me yeah. for a minute and That's think, true. oh. And what, yeah, what kind so. of, what's your style, like, clothing-wise? Like, what do you Oh, kind of yeah. Wearing? So, um, my clothes are no longer, you know, all goth torn to bits. And, and, yeah, mm-hmm. raggedy goth. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so if I'm going to, you know, lure innocence, mm-hmm. I have to uh, dress in a way that <clears throat> might, you know, uh, garner trust. Friendly. So I wear, I don't know, um, what did people wear in the 80s? Polos. Jeans. <laughs> yeah. Khakis. What was that? Polos. Yeah, polo shirt, maybe in a jean skirt, or just really, because like you're at the church, so they want you to have, a, there's a little dress code there. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, like a blouse yeah. and a skirt with some like non-tennis shoes, shoes. So just flats and like yeah are you wearing a little cross I'm curious yeah. just not fun. against your bare skin I think obviously. yes 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 exactly <laughs> I was thinking how would that work it would burn not yeah exactly okay. Okay. it's it's uh, very visible on top of my clothes okay yeah nice <laughs> and I'm wearing a jean jacket uh huh um and a shirt that says mm-hmm. well it has a it has a big you know cheesy heart on it mm-hmm. okay yeah. alright cool <laughs> Right, nice. Very not, uh, you know, not what I would wear yeah. before. Okay. Mm. It's, yeah, it's very different. So it's a beautiful summer day. You're walking up. It's what it's like 11 a.m. And Scoops 2 is starting to get underway. And Rodriguez is there getting ready for the day. And so you walk up to the yeah. booth and what happens? What do you do? Hey, Rodriga. Welcome to Scoops 2. We'll be open in 10 minutes. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so great. Awesome. I'm standing right here. Okay. <laughs> I'm just like, I don't yeah, know. you're busy. Well, you're like you're putting like, up the booth. You're like you're stickers on like the cups. Yeah, yeah. like getting the cones up on the display. Yeah. Yeah. They also oh, have like geez. the individual little paper things put on them. Yeah, it's really annoying. <laughs> All right, so what do you do? We separate. <laughs> yeah. Um. Wait, you don't recognize me? Should I? Yes. <laughs> It's Maury. Mm. Homeroom? That sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be ready in, in a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but before you open, I wanted to talk to you, if you don't mind, if you have a minute. Oh, I know I... You, you look busy, but mm-hmm. this will just take a minute. Mm. You look different. Yeah. It's a, uh, it's a tan. <laughs> it's a tan. <laughs> I'm just in my mind, like, thinking mm, when I rummage yeah, through your locker and, like, have your, like, black fingerless yeah. gloves. I'm like, uh-huh, yeah, a tan, sure. <laughs> yeah, like, cradle of filth poster inside the, yeah. the locker. Mm-hmm. So, so, Maury, what do you do? Oh, do yeah, so, yeah, d- um. Did you want to do, do you want to do a move? Do you want to, like, oh. Yeah, so you remember that time when, um, you know, I threatened your grandma? (laughs) (laughs) Me and all the seagulls. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Seagulls going on. There's a little... The the people out there, their little boats and, like, fishing boats are getting Mm -hmm. their nets all wrapped up from the morning's Mm -hmm. catch. 
Yeah. Oh, um, vaguely, I guess I do recall something. Oh, like come on. That. You remember. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it just seems miles away now. Uh, yes. Mm. Yes. You know what? I think so, too. So I just wanted to uh, ask your forgiveness for what happened so long ago and thoughtlessly. Is that something you really need from me? Yes. <laughs> and alongside that forgiveness, I'd like for you to lift this hex. Well, that sounds like two things you need from me. <laughs> I think they're all wrapped into one. Forgiveness would mean lifting the hex. Right? I mean, it sounds like forgiveness, though, is for you to feel better about something that you feel bad about, <laughs> that you did to me. What? I feel bad. Yeah. Don't I look like and I so my forgiveness yes, I'm would be... Look, see, I'm wearing a cross. And so <laughs> my forgiveness would give you the consolation of knowing that you didn't have to feel as bad about that anymore. Great. And you'll also lift the hex. Great. <laughs> that's the thing. It's, that's something that I did to you, and I don't feel bad about that. <laughs> so what, would, what can I do for you? Ah. Hmm. Now yeah. Hmm. Now we're hmm. Hmm. You know. I'm really not sure. I <sighs> <laughs> don't know if there's anything I really want from you, Maury. So why are you uh, leaving this hex on me then? Mm. Well, that's a good question. Let's just say it's not really worth the effort to undo it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good to know. I'll be back. See you later. <laughs> so that's why you end up at London, USA. Uh, yes, because perfect, you yeah. are tracking, like you know, like you're kind of using your former ghoul skills, I think, to kind of find out like what's Rodriguez' patterns. Where is she going to end up? You're yeah. stalking her. Yeah. Right. I mean, yes, I, I am, know. and uh, I also I still want to go through with this deal with Doctor Carruthers to find out Rodriguez' darkest secret. Okay. <clears throat> so we'll yeah. keep that in mind. Okay. It's like it, okay. like you've now broken the ice. Yes. Slightly. Um, you can, at least you got the ice pick out, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> and so we got that going on. So, so you end up at London, USA, looking around, and I think that basically once what what's nothing keep going. Okay. Oh so, no, uh, no. So what do you? So so I think oh, maybe note. I'm I'm gonna just say for the sake of time and the sake of just um what we're doing here for today's adventure or whatever. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're gonna just say, as you're walking up to London, USA, mm -hmm. suddenly the doors burst open, Whoa! and P and you see Colleen, oh. you see Lucian following Colleen, running out of the restaurant. You hear chaos what? in the restaurant, screaming, going wild. You suddenly see Nix, and you see um, Rachel. Rachel. You see um, Rodriga and Dana Stevenson and some of Dumpster Wolf there. Everyone's Maybe it's good I missed the last 10 minutes of the report. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. I, I, yeah, yeah I have no idea, have no yeah. idea what's going on. <laughs> so everyone is, all. you see all of these people that Whoa, you know, they're yeah. suddenly running out of the street. And, and the restaurant actually is adjacent to this forest right? Um, where we have the abandoned locomotives and other interesting things. And you see everyone just running and kind of, everyone just kind of following Colleen into the forest. What do you do? Oh, I'm going to follow. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Damn. <clears throat> that may take time, but, you know, yes. just think about that. Oh. Mm. Thoughts. Just thoughts, thoughts, comments, ideas. I see there's something else going on. What there's other four. She's just doing a note as well. She I guess I'll write it. No, no, I'm just making us. more notes because I think Jade's going to blow through all the all her remaining. I still have quickly. three. <laughs> <laughs> Keep making notes. Yeah. <laughs> Make a note. All right. Yeah. So, so you all three. Three. She's so got Colleen. an hour. <laughs> yes. Can we do it? Yes. Uh, so Colleen. Yes. Your your motivation for leaving the restaurant was, was the lobster bit abyss. The lobster, lobster, lobster abyss. The dreadful <laughs> abyss. Yep. And then the seeing... Bisque abyss. The yes, bisque abyss. The abyss. Yeah. The abyss. The abyss. The abyss. Uh, the abyss. Yeah. I'm heading out to save Omar. Da -da -da. Oh, yeah. Right. Do you feel that you saw... What you saw was he's in trouble. Yeah. Mark is after him. Right. With the crossbow. And I realized that the whole deal with Battalion was just to keep me under surveillance. Mm -hmm. While well, they infiltrated my little... Concept, and maybe Mark was using Miss Miss Battilion to do that. Like yeah. she's not in on it necessarily, right? 
or not. We don't or, know. We don't know. I don't know. But I you have no idea. Because it doesn't matter. I have to go do this thing. Yes. I have we to also attack. S- some towels to burn. Um, so yeah. We'll see what happens. Some next. towels. <laughs> so, so you are running into the forest. Do you have a, a destination in mind? How are you tracking? Yeah, because Oma? because didn't we see the location? We did in in the in the bowl. We saw that it was by the train. Mm-hmm. The the abandoned locomotives. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We kind of had an idea of where it was. Where he was, and he was kind of like running around and yeah. like being hunted. Basically. So we're kind of, but we're, yeah, even we're not hundred percent sure this is the right time, the right day, all of that. But I'm still going to go to that area. Okay. All right. So Lucian, what's motivating you to follow? And by the way, you don't realize this until you kind of see peripherally as you enter into the dark woods, is that there's a little blue light kind of following you nearby, like peripherally. It's back. Following you, <laughs> it's back. Some kid oh, with a laser she. pointer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm, um, so, no so what's your motivation for following <clears throat> Colleen? Um, just basically, and I, I, I think this was my motivation last week, but it wasn't. Right. It can be different. It doesn't matter. Fresh. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah. Basically, just seeing what's up because I know her well enough to know that something's up. Something's going something's on. Up. Something serious. Mm-hmm. Must know. Mm-hmm. All right. I must know and I must absorb. Whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. It's an opportunity for feeding. Good. If nothing else. Right. That's true. <laughs> if nothing else. Yes. Okay. So in Rodriga, you are you're the, the whole chaotic. Mm-hmm. You saw Judy in the face of Dana. Mm-hmm. Totally was like, what the fuck? So mm-hmm. what? So you're just you're running for out of the restaurant into the woods. Why? You know, <clears throat> I probably see Lucian going into the woods, mm-hmm. and he is probably the closest thing I have to a friend. Mm. And so, Oof. I think <laughs> it's not even like, I don't know. I know him well enough to know that he can be really manipulative, mm-hmm. and that... Know. Maybe he's got some like advice. Maybe he's mm-hmm. also seen the faces of those he's wronged in, uh, mm-hmm. you know, just everyday life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. And then, so Nix, you and Rachel. Um. So I, yeah, I got up and ran. Um, uh-huh. Probably because as uh, as Colleen was barreling past the waiter carrying my catch of the day. <laughs> That's right. Right. <laughs> Bad man. <laughs> I, I caught the look on her face, uh-huh. and she looked really. Uh, you know, really out of sorts, really concerned. Uh-huh. And um, I never uh, I never ha- held anything against her despite being her rival. <laughs> so right. I think I want to make some amends. Okay. Yeah. So you're just heading over, just this is where, this is like where everybody's going, so let's go and see what's up. Yeah, and you know, I, I want to, I want to, I want to, you know, close the gap with Colleen because we were, we were kind of looking out for each other a little bit in that first session mm-hmm. and then, you know, things just got a little con- misconstrued. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. did. They did. All right. Okay. So you're all heading into this forest, um, toward the abandoned locomotives and Colleen, you see, um, you're getting deeper into the forest and, um, what are you, um, let me just look here real quickly here. I'm going to turn into my darkest self. Mm. Ooh, okay. So you're gonna okay. um, just morph into the wolf when I get out of the, when I get into the forest. Okay. The moon is out. It's a full moon. Yeah. So Even though that has me, nothing to do with it, but it helps you see better. It gives me spirit armor. Yes. So you turn into your wolf form. Remind us what that looks like. It's a it's a wolf. Yeah. <laughs> Is it a full on wolf? It's a great it's a wolf. Is it larger than a normal wolf or is it a wolf? It's just average it's a wolf. wolf size. Okay. Thank well, you for not going Twilight style. Just yeah. I don't yeah. even know what that is. It's so. like dire wolf. <laughs> giant wolf. Yeah, like a no. giant, yeah. No. giant, giant wolf. badly CG wolf. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I am me still. I'm just yeah. a wolf. You're just mm. in wolf mode. Yeah. So you get down. So I can go a whole lot faster with four legs. That's true. Mm. Mm. That's true. Um, so off you go into yep. the woods. Thunderfoot and lightning. Yes, and Colleen, um, it seems, how are you feeling being in wolf form? Like, what's the feeling you get when you're, like, morphed into that, into that role? Um, I'm really almost in a berserker state of mind. Okay, yeah. So, you're I just, just looking. I've got to do this thing, and it's, 
super important. So I don't have a whole lot of self-awareness is what I'm saying. Okay. Mm. I'm very task-focused. Yes. Laser-like. Finding Omar. Find Omar. That's it. Save Omar. Save Omar. Save Find Omar. and save Omar. Yeah. Okay. So, um, great. So you all, um, I'm wondering, Lucian, do you notice that there's suddenly a wolf in front of you? I was thinking that I'm running through the woods, and it's just the sound of feet on, uh, mm, you know, leaves on and leaves and, and soft earth. Yeah. yeah. And then all this, but I can tell that there's somebody ahead of me <clears throat> in the dark, maybe occasionally catch glimpses mm-hmm. uh, of, of a jacket or whatever, mm-hmm. or hair. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden it feels like I'm just alone, because Colleen's just like shot off into the dark ahead of me. Okay. Okay. Do so you don't feel any presence coming from that little blue dot at all? Do I? Do you notice do the you? blue dot? Do I? Do you? Do I? <laughs> <laughs> I know, do you? Do I? Well, you saw it before. I would like to say, y'all, the for the record, one of my my re, my my um, <laughs> mm-hmm. my principles as MC is sometimes disclaim decision making. Oh. I don't make those decisions. There's some I make. Disclaim decision making. Yeah. So, mm. so do you feel the presence of this, this little light? Um, boo. Let's see, I'm just seeing if there's anything I can do interestingly with dice rolls or if I should just uh <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, I do. I do feel the presence. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's, it's not just a kid with a laser pointer. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> so okay. yeah, suddenly it's just the sound of my own feet running through the woods. But do you hear like the four like galumping? I don't know. Like maybe maybe there's like a momentary like sound of leaves being kicked up. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but by then you're right, I'm gone. Yeah. Gone. It's like yeah. when, you know, dog takes off after something, you know, it's just like, whoop, you know, yeah, gone. Oops. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a terrible okay. feeling. All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh. <And> <laughs> it's like, there it goes. There um, yeah. And the wolf never makes a sound until they're sure of their kill, so. Right. Yeah. All right, so you all are on the path to this abandoned locomotive. Which is oh. really cool. It's this, yeah. <laughs> and so, Colleen, you're first on the scene. Oh, yes. So you're there. Yes. What's going on on the scene? Is there anyone there? Is there anything there at all? What What do you smell? Oh. Hmm. I'm imagining the camera switching to like a bubble lens. Yeah, you know, <laughs> to the dot, like right. the bubble <laughs> right. and, and like in, in like quote black and like white, like color exactly. blind, like mammal. Yeah. <laughs> but like. But with the camera like really low. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> well, yeah, what do you smell? What do well, you detect? Colleen? I'm trying to see if there is a, a thing I can do okay. here. Right. Um, do you have a string on Omar? No. Okay. Oh wait, oh. but I do. Really? You should. Okay. I do. Yeah. I do. But I have I have a deep spiritual connection. You do. You do have that connection. That a, I don't know if that's, that's something. A string. No, it's, it's not. Something it's rollable. just it's, it's it's something that you oh. have. Um, Perhaps. It's what allowed you to gaze into the. Oh, but uh, you could you could either. Oh, right. I don't know if you're afraid right now. You can gaze into the abyss, or mm-hmm. you can keep your cool. I'm thinking, because if you keep your cool, you might be fearful. Like where is Omar? Oh, yeah. I'm scared. Name what you're afraid of. Ha- yeah. Like, okay, yeah, that's and then fair. Go from there. That's yeah. fair. At first, I was like, no, but then yeah, the way you said it, mm-hmm. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's one. Well, okay, but okay, so, but there's really no like actual action. Right, you just name what you're afraid name of. Name what you're afraid of. Oh, I'm afraid he's dead. Yeah, that's right. All right, so okay, now I'm to roll it. Yeah. Roll, yeah, roll, roll with cold. One. Roll with my cold, which mm-hmm. I put yeah. a negative one on. Mm-hmm. You're rolling 2d6, right? Mm-hmm. Two? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Two, yeah. Roll two. Okay, so that's a seven, that's a six. Hmm. Oh, okay. so that's a fail. That's yeah. That's a fail. Mark experience. Mm-hmm. That's true. Okay. All right. So my, my fear gets the best of me, and I can't understand what's what has happened or what will happen but you know what i would like to do what hide under the locomotive for just just a little bit of time see if anything comes up okay so you find a spot you're going under the locomotive what do i is there anything under the locomotive not that you see okay good do i smell anything should i smell you want what are you gonna do you're sniffing sniffing you find what you feel is a safe spot yeah okay you go in there a little door closes right behind you. No! Oh, no! I'm being trapped. I'm being trapped. I'm being trapped. <laughs> what do you do? I'm gonna I'm gonna struggle against the the unbreakable barrier of the trap. <laughs> <laughs> Is okay. that, would that be a runaway? That's lash out physically yeah. or lash run, out run, physically run away. Or yeah. Either. I think. Let me see here. They're, They're both, both volatile. volatile. Yeah. Um. It's up to you, Jen. 
No, it's the last shot physically. Probably. Well, last shot physically is doing harm to somebody. Oh, okay. So. So run away. Run harm away. to the trap. Oh, but it's somebody that does like, something it, too. Yeah, yeah, they get yeah, the right. ability to react. Harm is in game term harm, not mm-hmm. just like run away. the adjective yeah. harm. Right. Running away! Oh no. So, well, I have my volatile. Mm-hmm. Nine. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, that's mm-hmm. exciting, huh? You get away, but choose one. Mm-hmm. I have to choose one. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. What would make the story messy? Let's run into something messiness. worse. Let's run into something worse. Oh, yeah. All right. I get out of the trap. I mm-hmm. squirrel my way out of the trap. Because yeah, you I'm find... actually not an actual wolf, right? Yeah, so exactly. I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. It's a lever. Right. Mm-hmm. So I hit the lever. Fuck it. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm picturing, like, the, the, the fake paw, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like yes! Yes! <laughs> Cut to fake paw touching the lever. <laughs> Oh, um, and so then, okay, uh, so then you, you scramble out. Scramble on the... out like low like a dog does, you know? Mm-hmm. And then blam, I'll run in, right into Mark. Mark's there. Sure. Whoa! Mm-hmm. So he's looking down at you and he's holding his crossbow? Yes! Oh! Is, he on top of the, is he on top of the train? Mm-hmm. Is he hiding? Mm-hmm. That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. yeah. So so he's he's standing there and he mm-hmm. has you in his sights. In his sights, yes. Do you, you see him? I do. And you're staring at each other. Yes. Ah! So suddenly... Oh no! Out of nowhere... You see him fall like oh, and he falls back onto the back of the locomotive. Then, oh my like, god! And like something came from from the opposite direction, right? And he's like, "Oh god, what the fuck!" So he's like cursing and what the hell? What's going on? Ugh. So he's like panicking. He's making out. a lot of noise too. Mm-hmm, he is, yeah. All right. So I then the thunder around. I got to see what. Where, okay, so you go. Know. You go behind. Where, like, maybe the direction of where that came from. Exactly. I'm going to investigate. So you suddenly smell Omar. Hey! Oh. And, hey. and, um, <laughs> yeah, Omar's there. Okay. Yeah. And he's standing there with a slingshot. Oh, oh um, hooray! Mm-hmm. Terrific. Yeah. And, um, he's just looking down at you. Yes. Like, he's, he thinks he knows it's you. Well, he knows it's you. Yeah. yeah. He knows yeah. it's you. Yeah. Deep okay. spiritual connection. Yeah, that's right. Spiritual connection. Okay, cool. Yeah. This is interesting. So what do you do? Your eyes meet. The saxophone <laughs> swells. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um. So you see. You, yeah. You see each other. What do you do? Hold on. Just give me one second. I forgot to mark an experience. Okay. Um. Well, we got to get the hell out of here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's time to kill Mark. You think so? I do. I think so. Okay. How All can right. I transmit this to Omar? Um, let's do, um, you can use your string. Yeah. Tempt yep. them to do what you want, give them a condition, add one to your roll against them, or add one to your harm, you deal them. Um, Did you have a string? I don't Omar? have a string. Oh, no more, no. I have yeah. a, I have a deep spiritual connection. Can I use that to Yeah, let's do that. All and right. let's, um, let me see here. <clears throat> yeah, let's just do that. Okay. I don't think the um, yeah use let's, it as a string. Yeah, we'll just let's use conflate it. We'll just, it yeah, because this, the the writers are went on strike this week. So <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just for the moment. They'll come so, back. So so Omar so Omar's looking down at you and he yes. he understands. So yes. we use that like he gets it because yeah. you have that connection. I go, like ah. and he's like, oh, I know. Yeah. So then suddenly <laughs> he. Oh, I know. Oh, I know, man. Oh, totally. oh I know. No, really, no. We can't let this stand, and we can't go back. He knows what you want. I can imagine that animatronic wolf, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, so you, so um, so you communicate this, and it gets through to Omar. <laughs> it's time to kill. Right. It's, it's time to kill Mark. It's time to kill Mark. <laughs> the, the little subtitle. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right. So, um. So yeah, so I'm, just, I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm, sorry, I'm working on this. Um, it's good. You're I'm trying, to, I'm trying to frame this. Let's, like, just oh god, you know what would be awesome? What? If Lucian walked in right. Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. Okay, right. So <gasps> Lucian walks in, and you walk in on this Runs scene. In. What? Runs, Runs, in. In. Runs in. Sorry. Runs in, yeah. <laughs> Strolls in. Yeah. Um. So I would take all of you at the same time. Mm-hmm. Some oh, end up oh, at the slow all motion. No. Directions. Everybody. <laughs> yes. Like, because I'm sure all of us heard, like, an, oh, fuck. And yeah, like, yeah you heard true. the yell. You heard, heard the yell. yell. Yeah. You heard the commotion. Yeah. You heard a thud on the top of the locomotive, like, roof. And so so you all run up at the same time. Oh, God. So mm. we have Nix and Rachel. We have well, Maury, Rodriga, and Lucian and uh, Casey mm-hmm. um, there, suddenly. Yes. And you see this wolf, and you see you all see Omar. So, mm. Lucian, what do you do? 
Uh, okay, so I see a wolf. I'm trying to remember if I knew that Colleen changes into a wolf or not. I think you all have so strength on her to show, so you like, you knew, well, like, it's obvious she's weird. Yeah. <laughs> that she's well, weird, obvious. but maybe not a wolf. Yeah. Oh, well. Like, do I know your true form? You always smell like things. I know she's so. a wolf. You know, yeah. yeah. Maury knows. Maury does. And you know Maury that I, does. we know that I know that you know. Yeah. Yeah, and you yeah. saw me change into a ghoul. Or yeah. wake up as a ghoul. At Maybe Maury drops Actually, the bomb. I pretty strongly mm-hmm. know. Yeah. All because right. oh, he left yeah. that rabbit skin in my yard. That's yes. why. That's yeah. why. All right. I've got a token on you. Yeah, you do. You, no, everyone has a token on me. Mm-hmm. Well, no, oh, I've got a string, string on you. String. Yeah. See that? I'm not clear. Okay. So, do you know though? Do I know? Probably not. But you see Omar there. But I see Omar. I mean, they're inseparable. I see Mark. Mm -hmm. I'm vaguely aware of. Well, Mark, you see his feet. Like he's like he's like struggling on the roof. He's heard heard him. You heard him. Yeah, he's still swearing. He's still swearing. Like what the fuck? (laughs) Ah. All right, Uh, Omar, what are you doing? He just looks at you. Da da da. And he turns into a wolf. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> They're werewolves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. you two are now in wolf form. Jesus, yeah. you all see this happen. What do you, what Nick? What do you do? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Um, I think I, uh, I think I grab Rachel's hand really hard because I think she's gonna freak out. Okay, okay. What do you do, Mario? I'm gonna walk up to Colleen. Mm-hmm. And do what? And I'm gonna look at her and be like, I know, you know, I know. Yeah, we know. Are. Yeah, we know. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> are you offended by that? No. Woof, woof, woof. You're not? You're good with it? It's fine. Yeah. Okay, good. She's yeah. trying. Okay, she's yeah. trying. So, are you guys planning to kill that dude up there? So they're looking at... So what do you do? Not now. Not now. That not it's, a- it's a convention. No. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> the subtitles. Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> because, okay. All right. All right. So you say that, and, and you, what indication do you give to Maury that, like, no, like, mm. we're gonna just, just turn, turn around and leave. <laughs> You're gonna turn we're around. We're gonna leave, yeah. Okay, so run away. Run away. So let's do that. You wanna okay. run away? Rodrigo, yep. what do you do when you see the, these two wolves suddenly? Well, do I see Omar first and then turn into a wolf? Mm-hmm. I think seeing Omar and then the wolf, I'll figure out that it's Colleen. Mm. And I'm still, like, hurt that Colleen. I don't know. Led me on, and then oh, rejected you, and then yeah, <laughs> for that guy, <laughs> oh, for, for that wolf. <laughs> okay, all right. Mm-hmm. Do you kind of want to be a wolf though? Is that part of it? No, no. I don't think so. Because you would have been. I think you were like one of the first people that I opened up to a little bit. Okay, mm. so I feel like mm. you feeling hexy. Mm. <laughs> Are you feeling? Men hexy. I feel a little probably just like indifferent. Like if they were in trouble, then I'm just gonna like stop running and like hang back, lean on a tree, and see what's about to happen. Okay. All right. Got a lot of observers. Yeah, you do. Everybody's watching you, man. That's why we're leaving. So, <laughs> so you're attempting. You're attempting to run away. <laughs> attempting. All right. So let's roll vol- roll a volatile. Eight. Eight. Yep. Are you sure? Plus well, two. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So you choose run into something worse, cause a big scene, leave something behind. Mm. What do the what does honesty demand, and what do the rules what's what's what the what do the rules demand, and what would be feral? Mm. Well, I already did the run into something worse just three minutes ago. So I did. Mm. Although doesn't Mark have a? Um, yeah, I'm gonna look something up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Right. Have Leaving a something behind. Maybe Omar doesn't want to give up this chance. Oh, shit. So, yeah, what, do you, what, do you, what, do you, what do you do? I can't imagine what I'd be carrying that I could leave behind yeah. right. at this point is the only right. issue. Right, it's causing a big scene. So it caused a big scene. Mm-hmm. Um, I know what I'm going to do. Mm-hmm. I'm running on the, on, I'm on the way out. I'm still kind of angry and confused and berserkery. Uh-huh. I am going to... In my confusion, uh-huh. lash out and strike Lucian. Okay, mm. that's a big scene. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Love it. All right, let's do it. Lash so out that's physically. Lash out physically. Mm. Yep. Yep. Oh, Roll all. Yeah. Jesus. That's a five. 
Whoa. Whoa. All right. Mark like experience. Mark experience. Yeah. <laughs> Mark experience. <laughs> I think the wolf is like jumping over me. Yeah. So I think that's what that's what happens. Yeah. Right? Is yeah. that she just jumps past you. Right. And you but s- I'm very and, upset. And, and I, I have to fall down. Yeah. You, it knocks you struck. over, yeah. but you're not you're not hurt. I'm not hurt at in all. any way. Yeah. yeah. Just shocked. Yeah. So you 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 and Omar leap past Lucian. But my intention mm-hmm. when I was jumping towards him was to injure. Yeah, I and saw I the failed. snarling face. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And that's scary. Yeah, yeah. So what do you what do you do? Well, any, anything else come of that uh, failure? Or... Um, no. The, no. the okay. fails here, they really. I'm just gonna tell you right now, like. Be <laughs> <laughs> real with you. Yeah. No. The failing is. It's not clear to me, like, how to really. Well, if, if me being knocked prone might, like, you know... Well, that causes a scene, two wolves jumping past you, like... Well, of course, of course. But like, I'm, just, I'm just thinking, it's like, does that cause some kind of knock-on effect? You know, like a negative knock-on effect. Of what? I don't know. Are you falling on a little fairy person? <laughs> <laughs> no. yeah, yeah, you oh, let me no. know what it is. Um, Are you just at a disadvantage for whatever happens Yeah, I'm at a dis- yeah, That's what, kind of what I'm saying. You spilled your ass. I spilled my ass, and I might be at a disadvantage for if something else happens. Mark or something, you know, I don't know. So, anyway. Uh, but that's me. So I was knocked down. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so that's the big scene. You two escape in a night. So where do you go? To my sh- to my shanty, probably. Okay. I don't know, you know what? I think I've abandoned the shanty. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hmm. So. This is causing a big scene. So where you don't know where you're going. You're Not just running through the streets. Yeah. Hmm. You know where we're going to go? Bob Lobsterman. <laughs> really? Yeah, hmm. we're going to try and find him. Okay, so you think Bob will help me? Yeah. Lobsterman will help me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Lobsterman will help me. <laughs> yeah. All right, so the rest of you, you all see these two wolves leap out of the forest oh. and knock Lucian over. And so what do you do, Nix? Uh, I want to know who's up on the uh, up on the train. Okay. So do I. Okay, yeah. Yeah. so you and Maury go up. To the and Rachel, I guess, will be there too. Up the yeah. do we know Mark? Like, um, no. Okay. He was at the uh, he was at the dance, right? He, he was, was the chaperone. We know he's, of he's, him. He's, he's uh. an adult in the town. Yeah. Like. yeah. Yeah. So we okay. He was he was at the dance, but who knows what he was doing? Okay, yeah. so you're heading up the little ladder yeah. to the roof of the locomotive, Rodrigo. What do you do? I think I'll probably give Lucian a hand and help okay. him up. Okay. All right. So what do you two give an exchange? You say something to each other? Or? Thanks. <laughs> the wind knocked out of you a little. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just pat him. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> doing the doing the hands on the kneecaps thing. <laughs> 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 trying to trying to maintain my cool. So then what do you do? Um so these two are clambering up the Yeah, lower. you can hear mm-hmm. suddenly like the foot falls onto the yeah. like, metal yeah. Line, line. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna see what plays out. Okay, you're going up there. Yeah. What do you do? Mm. What do you do? Maybe kind of like look off in the distance and see if I can tell where these guys are running off to. Okay. All right. They're, you just see the two tails and they're just, they're gone. The two tails. Yep. Two <laughs> tails. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, <laughs> exactly. They're all puppets. Uh huh. <laughs> so, um, okay. So, Nix and Maury, you are, wa- you're on the roof of the locomotive mm-hmm. and you see Mark Battalion just prone and he's slowly getting up um oh you see, look like a, you're hurt uh-huh. yeah. there's a crossbow <laughs> there's a crossbow laying on the on the roof of the hmm. of the locomotive oh wow hmm. um train car and uh so loaded. you what do you say yes it is still loaded so um oh wow so more you say yes you, say, you look like you're hurt um can we help you what are you doing here he what do says. you mean we we heard a commotion and we came to help uh, it's nothing. I'm fine. I'm fine. I was just, I was just, um, out in the woods, like, and so he looks over mm. at you, Nix, mm-hmm. and he's, like, staring at you. Mm. Uh, you look like a normal girl. He <laughs> suddenly looks at you, and he's, like, sizing you up. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna very helpfully, as Maury's helping him up, I'm gonna helpfully pick up his crossbow, mm-hmm. oh and, um, because I'm out of sync... Mm-hmm. And while it's pointing in the air, I'm going to accidentally poop. <laughs> <laughs> so the Pull arrow the goes up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Randomly? Oh. Oops. Okay, um, nice. Sorry. <laughs> so he just, he he grabs it from you. <laughs> He's just staring at you. 
Uh, if you kids shouldn't be out here. I hope that wasn't expensive. He just shakes Sir, his head. Why would you have a weapon like this out here? I'm just I'm hunting. Mm. Were you hunting those two werewolves? Or oh, wolves? Jesus. Did, wolves? You, did you say werewolves? No. Uh, I mean, did, did you, you say did? werewolves? Uh, maybe I did, but I can't. All right, there so you go. You say it. Were you hunting those two were werewolves? <laughs> where did those wolves come from? <laughs> yes, that. Where were those two were men? So you say that, and yeah, he, and then he suddenly is like focused on you, like, <laughs> sir. I think you need to beg God for forgiveness. Oh, yeah. mm. will you get down on your knees and pray with me? Do you just feel like a little slap from somewhere else? Like, not for you. <laughs> um, Sounds like you're trying to shut him down. You were trying to shut Ooh. him down, so yes. let's do that. Yeah! Roll with, roll with cold. Yeah. Ooh. That's two. All oh, right. I'm a minus one in cold. Oh, you have a minus one? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm inviting him to prayer. Yes. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Oh, five. Mark experience. Mark X. Okay. <laughs> All right, so you get to choose. Um, you, you're coming across poorly, and I'm going to give you a condition in return. Oh, okay. no, that's, that, that's, that's a, 79. Oh, this is this a flat fail. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry. I've had not... You haven't... Y'all haven't rolled this many fails I know, in a really long bad, time. Right? So yeah. that's why yeah. I'm yeah. kind of yeah. like, I don't know what to do when you guys fail. Um, <laughs> okay, so... Um, so you're like, oh, you you gotta you have to pray, like you yeah. have to ask for forgiveness or whatever. That's right. Okay, and so you Trying start so you start praying. Not animals. Yeah. Or so animals. You... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't like to lie. Barely so not. he says so he says to both of you, where are your parents? <laughs> what are you doing out this late? Oh, uh we need to take you to the police station. We're going duh, now. Duh. Ooh, march ooh. right down, march off march off off of this train car and we're going to the jail oh, right I'm now. La- I'm lashing out physically. Fuck Yay! this guy. Oh! Yes! yes! I've seen what's going on so I'm already walking towards the Yeah. Engine. Okay, you are. And yeah. Rodrigo, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. So they're up there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lucian's mm-hmm. getting closer to there. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tag along with Lucian okay. then. Get right. closer. Okay. So, um, yeah. so, more. are you still praying, Mori? Are you still kind of like... I'm, uh, well, I'm gonna try one more time. Okay. What, are you saying you're not going to pray with me? So he he just looks at you like confused, and so Nix, yeah. what do you? I'm, I'm pushing him. Okay. I'm gonna shoot Off of the top of the train. Yeah. Yes. yes! <laughs> All right, volatile plus two. Oh dear God. Wow. Six, uh, seven. That's an old, uh, eleven plus two, so that's thirteen. <gasps> wow. Yes. Oh my God. And uh, yeah. Not. Yeah. <laughs> So, Fired so, up. Yeah, so, yeah. on him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> on a 10 up, I deal yeah, him you... harm and they choke up momentarily before the wreck. So, yeah. maybe I push him and he falls like right at the feet of Lucian and Rodriga. Ooh, yes. nice. That was exactly. like he's got the wind knocked out of him because uh-huh. he just fell like onto his back flat. And I would say also from that height, I'm thinking if he mm-hmm. hit his head on a rock, possibly, oh, okay. he might have, he might be concussed but oh, um, so as you're saying like you're saying like are you why don't you want to pray with me or whatever then suddenly nicks out of nowhere you're suddenly <laughs> seeing, yeah. Yeah. You. <laughs> I'm not fucking going anywhere <laughs> oh, and that's what you say yeah good for you Yay. awesome Ra- Rachel's wow. witnessing all this and yeah too. Rachel's like oh whoa but I think she's like happy that you're doing this <laughs> um and so basically you're so <laughs> we you. just whoop. yeah suddenly right in front of you there's yeah. a strong man <laughs> boom and like the, you see the wind knocked out of him, and his eyes are open. And then he closes his eyes and loses mm. consciousness. Mm. You think so? He's he's laying there right in front of you all. So really quickly, we'll just leave there. So Colleen, Ooh. oh, all right, Bob Lobsterman. Yes, is he there? <laughs> so yeah. So so you go to his like house. Like he has like a little like. Does he live on a houseboat or does he? Live on a houseboat? <laughs> Would that be cute? Would that be cute? Yeah. He just has no escape from work. No, no. he just he no. loves the sea. His yes. wife thought it would be like there's a no fun she's thing long to. Dead. <laughs> He's a widower. Yes, oh, oh, yes. Mr. Lobster. But he has his kids. Right? Well, he has his sons. Well, maybe that's why he keeps the house. His sons. Oh. Mm. 
Well, yeah. yeah, that's right. Lobstermen in the sun. So, <laughs> so that was established. Yeah, that's right. Yes, it was. It's canon. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so, so you arrived to the to the <laughs> so do they like each? What? Have, What's I, so funny? Sorry, sorry. Do they like each have a houseboat and they're having like a little fry up in the back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the sons have like normal or somewhat. They have like they are. They, okay. are they, they do. They, they, they have no, wives and kids. You know. But there's an extra houseboat. So they so, have that one son though. Right, there's always got to be one, right? Yeah, the one that never left the nest. Oh, or, that or didn't go where far. I was going, but no, okay, no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> where do you, you go? Where no, you, you have two. You have, there's two boats somehow now. So there's a house. There's one houseboat. I love those little houseboats. I do. Blast. Yes. Yeah. Man, so there's on one TV. houseboat. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Especially on one TV. Like they're on TV. I know. I love you know? them. No, oh, that's, that's living. It is. So I think like yeah, that's I'm having flashbacks with living in San Francisco. Okay. So. I'm trying to tell you that there's one houseboat. Yes. Bob Lobsterman lives there with yes. his son. With his son? Mm-hmm. With his son. Mm-hmm. It's close. It's close. close it is. But, you right. know, they, they're lobster. They're lobstermen. They're lobstermen to he's the heart. He's training him to be a lobsterman. Yeah. yeah. Um, what, he's like, he, but he's like 17 years old. And so he's like your age. Yeah. So, you know, you've seen him around. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, we're now creating a, a new a new NPC. Yeah. Yes, we are. Is yeah. this Rob Lobsterman? Rob Lobsterman. <laughs> Rob Lobsterman. <laughs> <laughs> Lobsterman Junior. Yeah. Anyway, Lobsterman okay. Fourth. Let's say the let's fourth. say there isn't one. Okay. So there let's isn't say, one? No, no, no. Let's say he's alone. You know, he's a widower. He's alone. Oh. His sons, like okay. you said, live in a normal house, right? Right. right. And so right. you know, his sons, like he has. How he's many married sons? to the sea at this point. He is. Mm. Right. Yeah. How okay. many sons does he have? Four. Okay, and Whoa. so they live in town. Yeah. One doesn't live in the One does not live in the houseboat. Right, right. Okay. No. no. All right, so, I'm going all sorry. back in. All right, sorry, yeah. so Bob lives... Got a little carried away there. Yeah, we did. We got excited. Well, it was fun. It was. So, so Bob lives alone. <laughs> right. And so you... Go I'm going to come up to the door and go, you know, like you do, scratch. like a dog does. Yeah. yeah. And so suddenly he opens the door. Yeah. And his friendly, warm, yeah. visage... And there I am. Is like, there, and you're like, there. And you're and still like, the wolf. And I'm a wolf. I'm still and, wolf. and Omar's with you. Yeah. And we're like, <laughs> and he's just like, holy and I'll Moses. Just walk right in past him and you sit walk down. In, walk right in. And we're going to sit down right in front of this little fireplace thing. Yeah. <laughs> this electric amazing. fireplace. This yeah. Little, yeah. yeah. You ever yeah. seen Foul Play? Uh huh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so he's so he's there and he's like amazed and he shuts the he door. He doesn't know. He doesn't know what to do. He wants to leave the door open in case you need to leave. Yeah. He's like, oh. It's kind of a magical night for Mr. Lobsterman. <laughs> this has never happened before. <laughs> he's amazed. So he's looking at you both. Yeah. And he's like, I don't know what. He doesn't need to do anything because we're going to sleep right now in front of this fireplace. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> so he passed out? Yes. <laughs> okay. So he, he, once you pass out, he closes the door of the houseboat. Yep. Yeah. Um, he kind of doesn't know what to do, and he is sort of just, um, sits up and just observes you two sleeping <laughs> near the electric fire. What? Could this be interpreted as a role to turn someone on? Oh. I was thinking shut someone down. Or shut him down. Yeah. Because, like, if, it, if it's a fail, he might call animal control, right? right. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. So you're just falling asleep and being non-aggressive. Yeah. So that would be shut someone down, I okay. think. Okay. Yeah. So let's cold, roll cold. that. So right. roll with cold. It's so warm and fuzzy. I know. Yeah. Seven? Okay, great. Oh. So you get to choose. Um, One from below. So there, he's scared because you're wolves. Right. Right? So that's coming across poorly. Like, you're like, oh my god, these wild animals are now in my boat. <laughs> my ass boat. But we did scratch at the door. And Exactly. <laughs> and so, Civilized. Dogs. Yes. So, um, so choose from below, and I will give you a condition. But okay. um, the condition, I would just say, and you all can let me know if you think it's bad, but I feel like it's like... Like out of control, like I don't know. Me? Condition. Yeah, you. Maybe you're kind of out of control. I've never you're just, been in control. Colleen, yeah. or orphaned, orphaned, maybe. Orphaned. I don't know. What do you think? Mm. What do y'all think? I'm seven to nine. Choose mm. one from below. So I have to give you a condition, and then I would say and they give you a condition. Oh, maybe homeless time. or domesticated. I am homeless. Mm. Homeless is good. I think that's a condition, but I also think like and I and so then he they gain a condition. Oh, and this is. That's if she chooses. Wait a minute. No, no, it's not. I don't um, choose any of this. No, no, no. So you choose one from below, but you come across poorly, and oh, then I, I give you, and then I below. give you a condition yeah. in return. So well, why wouldn't you, I take one forward? Exactly, you can do that. Well, you yeah. could get a string on him. Yeah, take one forward or a yeah. string. No, yeah, take, yeah, take one forward. Okay, so you take one forward. Bob Lobsterman's a simple man. He, he is. He's got his little, you know, his hot toddy. You know, 
the guy. Uh -huh. So your condition is homeless. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. I, I am. Yeah. I can't yeah. trust myself to go home or to Mrs. Battalion's. Exactly. You can't even mm. go back to the train car now. No, absolutely. Of course not. Yeah. Mm. I can't go anywhere that Mark might be hunting me. Right. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I might have to leave town. I don't oh, know. no. Uh -oh. I don't know. Yeah. So you are... Yeah, so you're curled up. What? What is it? What? I, I'm going to write it down to see if it's... Okay. So you um, <laughs> you are curled up by the fire. <laughs> I'm doing the Kermit face. You are... <laughs> <laughs> you what it is. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> nothing. So, uh, nothing. So, um, so you're pulled up by this by this heating source and the houseboat mm -hmm. with Omar. Yeah. And you're sleeping. We escaped death. I know you did. Pretty tired. Yeah, <laughs> I think so. It took a lot of energy. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Right. So Bob is kind of watching, <laughs> watching over you in a very kind He's way. He's listening to Gordon Life work. He is. On LP. Always. Yeah, that's what he does. Uh -huh. It's a Wednesday night, yeah. you know. Sundown, you better take care. Cozy. That's yeah. right. So he, a lot of lessons to learn from those songs. So no, he, you're not kidding. Uh, so that happens. Okay, so we'll kind of zoom out on that. And so now we have um, the two of you still on top of the roof. So we have Nix and Maury there. Yeah, I'm scrambling down. Yes, and then um, we have also a note. It's not applicable for now, of course. <laughs> yeah. So um, I need a. This little. I need the. Um, oh, it's yeah, go collated. I'm at ninety-eight. Okay. So um, okay, so you all, so you all at the on the roof. Hmm. Do you come down? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm coming down as okay. soon as. Okay. Before he even hits the ground, I'm on my way down. Okay. Oh my um, so what do you do next? I think uh, I think I, I stand there for a moment and kind of like bask in the mm. feeling of mm. successfully lashing out for once. Mm. Oh, yes. Yes. So like you know maybe I, I strike like a little bit of a heroic pose from like that low angle on my arm around Rachel's waist. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Um, okay. Surveying. Yeah. <laughs> Looking dominant for uh, for just a moment. Okay. All right. Um, and then while whatever is happening, we'll we'll descend the ladder. Okay. So I'm going to kneel down next to Mark. Okay. Yes. And, you know, uh, make like I'm checking him, his vitals. But really, I'm feeding off of his pain. Awesome. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Even though he's not conscious. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, he's in pain. So whether he's conscious of it or not, you know. Uh, and his anger and everything else that brought him here this night. So, you yeah, know. It's definitely there. I'm feeding mm. off of him. So, <laughs> him, mm -hmm. marked, for the, marked for the hunt, ha, ha, ha. feeding on someone establishes a preternatural <laughs> bond from that point forward whenever you gaze into the abyss concerning their whereabouts or well-being roles if you got dark three. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mark him for the hunt. That's really cool. Yeah. And uh, maybe I'll, I, I, the plus three wouldn't apply this time since I'm not looking for his whereabouts or well-being, but I thought maybe I'll just like, Pitch his eyelid up, look into his eye, and that could be a gaze into yeah. this yeah. move. Yeah, let's do it. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. <clears throat> Dark is minus one mm -hmm. normally. Oh. And name what I'm looking for. So I want to know what Mark is up to. I want to know why he's out here. Okay. What his intentions are. Do we know who he is at this point? No. Not really. Ooh, nope, that's a fail. Oh. Man, we are. What? There's some XP right there, yeah. 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 We are trying to figure out why he's here. Mm -hmm. He's not going to stay out for forever. <clears throat> we have this train car. Oh. oh my god. There's the trap underneath. Well. Is it a headquarters? Is this a little satellite location to do his hunting? Mm -hmm. yeah. We can get some answers from him. I think... I'm gonna take off one of my many scarves mm -hmm. and tie him up. Okay, all right. <laughs> before he wakes up. All right, cool. Do you want to take him? Do you want to like put him against the train car when you do like kind of pull him and yeah, like, let's up? like yoink him and like okay. kind of stick mm -hmm. him where it's okay. not as visible. Okay. I'm like gonna like hit Lucian and like help me. Yeah, <laughs> yes, of course. Mm. All right, another note. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'll be I'll be helping to. Tie him up. All right. So, Lucian, as you're helping tying him up, mm -hmm. he starts to regain consciousness. Ooh. Yeah. Do I make it down yet? Like, yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Yeah, so you're down. Run over to his side. Okay. And grab his hands. Okay. They're behind, they're him, behind him. Yeah, he got. Oh. Yeah, yeah. oh okay. He's been tied. You can just you can oh. touch his face. Or yeah. his shoulders. Or yeah, his shoulders or face or whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe his face. Yeah. His cheeks. So, so, yeah. Are you yeah. awake? Yeah. Uh, uh, what's going on? Ooh, are your hands starting to get like that hot? Like yeah. sensation, yeah. like your brother's house. Oh, yeah. maybe. Yeah, <laughs> sir. Yeah, you can be saved oh, right what is now. <laughs> Repeat these words after me. What? Are you ready? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, you. Like, why don't you? Yeah, why don't yeah. you do? Why don't you do the turn on? Turn him on to Satan. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. He's not innocent, but he'll, he's doing yeah. nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, so you don't have to be innocent. There's actually don't. a um, yeah. You just you just turn anyone who's not under the dark power right now yeah. toward the dark power. Mm. Yeah, and then yeah, it's do your thing. Uh, <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right. Yeah, uh, so sorry, turn I'm, someone on roll of hot. That's right. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, well, I don't have that. You Never mind. Uh, mark experience. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she rolled a five. I rolled a four. You failed? Yeah. You failed? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Failing. Yeah. Mm. All right. So, give me, give me two minutes. Okay. <laughs> a minute. So, so he suddenly looks right at you. Oh, my God. And he says, I know who you are. <laughs> you were that little girl that we were raping in the God. in the in the funeral home. So yes. honest. Wow. So Frank. I hear him say rape, little girl. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a little hard. I'm gonna take his face in my hands and stare <laughs> deeply into his eyes mm-hmm. and say incomprehensible, very um, frightening words. Oh shit. Oh. 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 Let's see. Yeah. And yeah. All right. So that's normally five. That's seven. Okay. Oh, with my dark. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna cast wither. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hex <laughs> loses all of their hair. Their teeth start falling out. Um, skin gets sickly, yellow, and spotty. That's However, awesome. because it's a seven, uh, we're gonna say that it has weird side effects. Oh. Yeah, I think everything gets withered. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're essentially like, like neutering him. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. So, um, so you start to say this, and suddenly, like right in, before all of you see before your very eyes, his skin just like sinking in, like like all of his like fat is like almost like melting under his skin, and his teeth start like falling like one tooth falls out <gasps> and then like his, uh, his you see his hand his hands are behind him suddenly like his you can see his clavicle like way more pronounced yeah. and he just is like it's like he's almost sinking into the into the train like almost like, like slug like mm-hmm. yeah oh. yikes um yeah it's really bad god that feels good all right yeah. <laughs> so, let's try one more yes. <laughs> all right so i'm still holding on to his face yeah as it's melting like around your hand oh yeah, yeah. no i like my fingers it's are like sinking deeper yeah. Into oh. it. it's just, like, yeah it's sagging around yeah. it's sagging around her all right her okay. oh, so that's a, a nine okay okay um so we're gonna go with ring of lies i'm gonna ask him what are you doing out here Okay. Does he have to? Yeah. If he attempts to lie, he can hear a piercing, ringing noise. Big lies will often make their knees buckle and disorient them. Severe lies can cause harm and brain damage. Mm. And what extra effect are you choosing because you rolled a nine? Oh. Mm, you know, I'll probably go with darkest self. Okay, yeah. I'm I starting think, to feel a little think, reckless with how much yeah, I think, do yeah, I think you are actually. Yeah, the time true. for subtlety and patience is over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I am too powerful to put up with his garbage any longer. Mm-hmm. That's, it. That's exactly what's happening. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, you ask him, What are you doing out here? Mm-hmm. And he looks at you like, so his face is like, it's like withering and <sighs> becoming he warm. He can't keep one eyelid open. Yeah, it's just, oh it's, he's God. just like almost yeah. like completely, it's like he's being like, like, like a washcloth getting like squeezed out, you know, just <laughs> coming all like dried up and like disgusting. And what was that? Nothing. I said nothing. 
I will listen to the tapes. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and so squeezing, and and he he like yeah like one only one eye is like able to open, and even that eye and the eye is like strangely like clear, like, oh. like it's not affecting his eyes for whatever reason, oh. but it's very clear. And then it kind of um, he says nothing. And then he suddenly chokes, and he's like, there's like this scream is like wrenched up from his <gasps> lungs. It's like a death oh, rattle bloody. scream <gasps> combo. Oh, I'm oh. gonna hold his face in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to gaze into the abyss? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, Do some abyss gazing. That's yeah. more like it. I, I love a bread bowl of this. But... <laughs> All right, so that's okay. um, six. Okay. All right. So that's a fail. Yeah. Right? Mark, XP. Yeah. Mark XP. Um It's because I can only see the one eye and it's yeah, fading. So it is. Quickly. It is. Because right. then it's eye. like this like milky cast yeah. is coming over the mm. the clear the one's clear mm. eye, mm. and this death rattle scream and like then like whatever residual blood is like coming out of his ears like it's like dark and black, mm. and um, and you see nothing. You just see this mortal man who. Is just really at his heart, truly evil. Wow! Like, like mm. the rest of them. Mm-hmm. Another mm. bug. Well, so that was easier than I thought it would be. That feels kind of good. <laughs> <laughs> but you are you are in your darkest self, darkest self right now. Yeah. Mm. So it has been triggered. Mm-hmm. It is a thing that is happening. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm. And so let's see. So to break this tension, I help uh, Rachel down as she's climbing off the ladder, and her, mm-hmm. you know, our. our Shoes crunch loudly mm-hmm. in the uh, in the twigs. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, and so Maury, what do you do when you see this happen? Like oh, what, wow. he, what he said to you? Oh, like he recognized you. Yeah, uh, yeah. What do you What do you do? Um. Well, he's getting his punishment, so that's yeah. pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> I just wish I was the one doing it. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. But yeah. Um, uh, he's is he completely out of it now? Yeah, he's pretty much dead. He's just shaking. Well, you could lash out physically and finish the job. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, okay. he's yeah, yeah. Okay, great. So Wait, you can we do? lash out physically? I can't. Oh, that's right. Ooh, the impotence. Yeah. <laughs> so I want to. I'm but just you... making everyone impotent. <laughs> 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 impotence for everyone. But you want to do this? There's, what can you do that isn't causing harm that can still mm-hmm. ultimately benefit you? Um, can you turn him to Satan? Yeah, can you steal his soul in the last moment? Oh. Uh, yeah, but he has to, like, he has to, oh. if, as far as I understand, he has to turn to the dark power, like, mm. voluntarily. Well, well, maybe in his last moments you could offer him a bargain. That's what oh! I'm trying to do! Oh! <laughs> okay. Just gonna do yeah! It? Oh. Right. Yeah, it's gross. I mean, he seems pretty much, like, wrung out and dead, but yeah. he might still be alive. There might be hey. something there to say yes. Like, get down and whisper in his ear. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I can save you from this. I can bring you back. Oh, nice. So he's like... Uh, like I just need you to say two words. Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Are you ready? I, <laughs> what, what? That's not a no. <laughs> That's right. What, Remy, what are you thinking, Remy? Again? You know, I feel like there is... Are you even hearing what I'm saying? I'm whispering, like, right in his ear. Yeah. Yeah, no, I wonder that, too. Uh-huh. But I desperately want him to die. There's something about this that feels... <laughs> mm, like a necessary mm. righting of a wrong. And I can't quite put my finger on it. There's, like, something else inside of me that, like, wants this even more than I do. So are you two picking up on this? Oh, I'm, you I'm wa- feeding off this whole fucking thing. Yeah! <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just saying, saying, yeah. I'm just like... <laughs> exactly! That's what I was thinking. He's like, <laughs> they bloated. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, bloated with feelings. All right, all right. So you don't want to make this... You don't want it to stop. I'm letting it play so out. So like the yeah. feelings that she's feeling, her feelings... Because uh, there's... So the way I'm picturing You're feeding in my off head all of them. Is there, there's this rusty locomotive. There's this guy who's like practically sunken back into it. There's these two girls who are kneeling next to him flanking him flanking him basically yeah. like like you're right in front of him actually yeah. and then you're holding you're, holding you're leaning face. in no i will say that i'm yeah. holding his face that's true yeah. you're all pretty close in so we and then close. i'm like right behind this whole tableau right 
this this weird Pieta that I'm uh, yes, <laughs> yes. It's yes. in your mind well, the whole time. Yeah, yeah. So you don't want it to stop. This. Yeah, no, I've, I've just got this like wicked grin on my. You're face. You're just feeding off of everybody though. Everybody's emotions. Oh yeah, Maury yeah. and yeah. Rodriga. Mm-hmm. Now, can so, you taste the different flavors? Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What is it? What are you getting, dude? It's like it's like I ordered every menu item from London, USA. Wow! <laughs> I was gonna say, is it like a Long Island iced tea? <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Red so, bowl of feelings. It is uh-huh. Yeah, it's kind of like you know everything's blending together, but they're yeah. a little. Oh, so it's a chowder. Yeah, it's, it's a chowder. It's a chowder. <laughs> chowder. Uh, yeah, but yeah, no, like I just got this little wicked grin on my face. And I've let my sunglasses fall back down over my nose, so it's just like, mm. you know, totally yeah. <laughs> just blank, you yeah. know. Like, yeah. All right. And, and okay. you know, hands in vest pockets, you know, okay. just like watching. All right. So, Nix, what do you want to do? You're seeing this. Do you want to intervene? You're, you're seeing Maury. Down the ladder, right? Yeah, you, he's already down. Oh, you're down. Okay. So, you see Maury and like her, the position she's in. You mm. heard what he said. You see what Rodriguez doing. Mm. Would you want to intervene, or what do you what do you want to do? I think the only thing that he wants to do is uh, where's the crossbow? Did he fall holding it? He no, he grabbed it away, right? Yeah, he oh, grabbed he did. it away. Yeah, then, 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 then yes, yeah, fell, yeah then it's scattered it in the leaves somewhere. All right, um, I'm gonna grab that sweet crossbow. Okay, <laughs> and um, I kind of, I think I like want to smash it against the train car. Okay, yeah. Mm. So like just. Mm. Give it a... Okay. All right. Just utterly destroy it, because I think, uh, you know, with, with Maury's revelation that he was trying to hunt werewolves, and my understanding that Colleen's now a werewolf... Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> as I understand. As I come to find out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, okay. He's trying to hurt your friend. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, okay. All right. Yeah, okay. so I really don't want that to... Uh, All right. Yeah, this is an evil thing, and it needs okay. to be destroyed. Yeah. All right, so you do that, Yeah. and that happens. And it's, it's a loud fucking noise, because it's, you know, I smash the bow of it, so the string lets go. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Rodrigo and Maury, do you hear this? Do you, do you hear this? No, I want him to say these words. No, no, no. You said, oh. But you, do you hear the crossbow getting destroyed? Mm-mm. No, you don't. You're not, I'm, you're I'm just, completely you're focused in. on you're it. So fo- okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then you're also, like, really heavily focused. Okay, so do you see this tension between them? That, like, Maury and Rodriga here? Um, yeah, probably. Okay, so what do you do? Uh, I, uh, I think I approach, but I don't get too close because it seems like there's a lot of, uh, mm-hmm. there's a lot of static there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so I just say, uh, anyone check his wallet? <laughs> <laughs> do they hear, do you hear this? You don't hear it. I just need him to say these words. I'm really like fixated on watching the last of his life leave his body. Yeah. Okay, so you say that. All right. Um. (laughs) Now, I guess that's the thing, though, as I am holding his face. So do I hear Maury? Mm -hmm. And yeah, I hear that he's trying to say something. Do you think? Do you think you heard? We would hear her because you're saying I just want to hear these words, right, Maury? You're just you just have two words to say. Yeah. Okay. And he also told him that you could save him from this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, he shouldn't yeah. be saved from this. Mm-hmm. So we have a, You're at all. We have a dilemma. Mm. You're at an impasse here. That's it. Okay, so I'm going to tell him the words. Well, uh oh, I'm going to try and lash up physically. Oh, oh at, him. at him, at him, to make it make it stop. <clears throat> Which I got. Ooh, a nine. Wow. No, sorry, ten. Oh, I got a six to four. <laughs> okay. Oh, so I'm holding his face. <laughs> mm-hmm. What I'd like to do is dig my fingers into his cheeks mm-hmm. and pull his jaw off. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, and yeah, you do that. You do that. Um, he, yeah, it's all, so, 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 so more, he can't, like, he's hearing you, but he can't articulate. Cause That's he, okay. His tongue's become so withered, and now his jaw is Speaking off. is not required. Oh! oh. So checkmate. So <laughs> so Rodrigo, you have this satisfying feeling of like pulling this this mm-hmm. jaw. And I'm gonna tell him again, I can save you from this. Blink twice. <laughs> okay. To give in he to does. What... He blinks twice. Awesome! Although, is it a blink if he only has one eye? Yes. Yeah. One one Darn. I can blink. Yeah. <laughs> so no, I think it's winking twice. Twice. Oh, it's true. Winking twice. Do you say winking? Wink twice. No. 
No, I said blank. Okay, all right. <laughs> whatever. It's, it's whatever. Again, Semantics. The, writers... the devil will have his due. Yeah. 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 Summon up the jury of the damned. They'll make the decision. Okay, <laughs> I'll say the first Somebody word. You blink. Daniel Ave. Blink. Satanas. Blink. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> My first soul! <laughs> So, so, I'm, wait, let me, okay, wait, let me see here. Let's see. Baby's first soul. Okay. Um, Baby's first soul. Let's see here. Uh, uh, I just get an experience point. That's all it well, How many does that give you? Oh, just one. Oh, well, I mean, total. total. Oh, three. Mm. Nice. Yay. I mean, is that okay? Deb? Yeah, 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 no, no, I'm just, oh, I'm, trying, okay. I'm trying to make sense of it. I'm trying to make no, sense gonna, of it. So what did you, beautiful. yeah. What did you do? You did a dark recruiter move, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. Mark experience. Oh. Yeah. Mm. All right, dark recruiter. Let me just see here. Yeah. Which is kind of cute, because it sort of sounds like you're, like, in leaflet, like, mode. Hi. Like, handing out pamphlets. It is, like, definite. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's mm-hmm. how you get them. The recruiter part <laughs> is just... Uh, yeah, that's really funny. Like a table at your local like yeah. community college. <laughs> During club day. Yeah. I can hardly wait to go see Dr. Carruthers and tell her, I got a soul. I got yeah. a soul. Yeah. For you. <laughs> that's true. Let's see. Uh, I can even perform a ritual sacrifice. I mean, not right now. <clears throat> uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> not anymore. Um, okay. This says, or a simple introduction at the cafe. Which, but I think that's a little too easy. You know, where, to, where does it say that? Oh, in the on the back. On the back. Oh, let me just look at that really quickly. Okay. Yeah, I'm just I'm trying to um oh wait, that for whatever it's reason. It's the dark recruiter paragraph. Yeah, it's Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you do this, he blinks. You feel this feeling of um like you have you're currently possessing something. That you didn't have before, something that's not yours, but it's definitely something that you. Oh, huh? keep talking. It's just the dog. Um, it's something that you um, now possess. It's something that you didn't feel. It's like kind of. Um, it's a completely new feeling to me. Yeah, right? it's yeah. a new feeling. So you're just you're you, but then there's like this feeling of something. It's not attached to you, but you possess it. Mm-hmm. So it gives you kind of a sense of. Um, ownership. Yeah. Possession. That I could then pass on like a mm-hmm. something that's tangible. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. intangible, but it's also tangible. Yeah. Like you, it's something that... I can control. Sort yes. Of. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. So, so with that, when he, he blinked or winked or whatever, <laughs> the winkening <laughs> happened. When he accepted. And then, um, yeah, whatever blood was left, like you know that like in his body it's pretty dry just, yeah at this point just it's kind like of somewhere between saltwater taffy and jerky. viscous yeah exactly <laughs> and so oh Lucian how does it feel as he's disappointed when he finds that he's not getting better oh I love it <laughs> a spicy meatball oh it's delicious um, and so and so he what is that cinnamon yeah mm. <laughs> so then he suddenly mm, so then the you hear disappointment <laughs> yeah go ahead so then you hear this like rattle yeah. This like death rattle sound, yeah. and then, bleh, and he's gone. Mm. The shriveled up corpse, basically. Yeah. But you have that soul. It also feels and good you have I, the, I feel like I've contributed to his suffering in the end. Yeah. Right? Oh God! After yes. Oh being God! Such a horrible person. Oh uh, yeah. In general, and of course, to me. Mm-hmm. Which is good. Yeah. 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 So you get that wonderful. The heft of that soul, yeah, and then you have the delicious <laughs> physical revenge. Yeah, I'm gonna Rodriguez. keep this jawbone by the way, it's going right okay. in my purse. All right, oh, cool, <laughs> there it goes. Oh, that's cool, cool. So, any mercury fillings in there? Nyx, we're gonna count them mm-hmm. when I get you home. see this happen. Oh, Joe, perhaps these two are drink. she's gonna need them. What do you, what do you do? <laughs> you see this, they essentially destroyed this man, body and soul, within the span of five minutes. What do you do? Well, I feel kind of, I feel kind of relieved. <laughs> okay. Because he was, uh, you know, he saw me. Mm-hmm. It looked like he recognized me. Mm-hmm. He's going to try to take me to the cops. Yep. Mm. Um, oh, that's right. And you know, I pushed him off. So 
For a second, I thought I was the one who did the most damage to him, and all of a sudden, he's this <laughs> yeah. withered husk. Yeah. With so, no jaw. <laughs> right? yeah. yeah. So at this point, I'm going to, you know, damn the, uh, damn the consequences. I'm going to go and do his uh, mm-hmm. disgustingly soggy, like, oh, oh. pants pocket no. and, and yeah. feel for a wallet. Okay. Nice. You find one. Yeah. I pull it out, and I, like, go to the driver's license. Mark Battilion. Nope. Are, there any, right. oh, yeah. are there any other battalions in our town that aren't mm. our teacher? No. <laughs> They're the only battalions. Uh, Interesting. So everyone... They moved here together as adults? Because that's weird. Yeah. I think they were born and raised here. Oh. They're just the only ones left. Yeah, they're the only ones uh, left. Their parents passed away. Yeah. So everyone, funny story. Yes. Oh. Um... What? This is, uh... <laughs> Where are we going? This, this is Miss Battalion's... <laughs> oh. Relative? Brother, probably. Yeah. Does he have like a picture in his wallet? Oh yeah, it's him? a photo ID. It's a driver license. No, 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 I mean like, does he have like a little wallet photo of like her and him? That together? was so huge in the eighties. He maybe. Yeah, I think they did. What is going on here? Right, don't, don't mind me. It's kind of Gosh. distracting. Don't mind the flashing lights. It's distracting. Don't mind the flashing lights. <laughs> don't mind. Can you just turn on? Mind the man behind the curtain. Oh, <laughs> uh, so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you're so you're you're like, uh oh. So, so then you I, see the address. You see you yeah. see there is a picture actually of of him and like yeah and and Miss Battalion together like a Sears portrait like a little wallet size. I, I think we and just she's sitting and his hands yeah. on her shoulder. Uh huh. <laughs> um, Interesting. But I want to I I like gaze into the abyss. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Ooh. Let's do it. Because I I don't know you know yeah. Battalion can mean so many things yeah. whether it's her brother her husband mm. Yeah. Mm. you want to know if they had sexual relationship I want to know who this guy really is oh. he's a child rapist yeah, yeah. Well, well, apart from that apart from being a child rapist <laughs> all right there has to be more to the man yeah <laughs> <laughs> all right five becomes seven with my dark of okay. all right. so. <laughs> Uh, name what I'm looking for. Roll the dark. So I'm I'm looking for who uh, who Mark Battalion is. Who he is. The man, the myth, the so as you're looking at this ID, you're seeing this. Oh, I thought he was looking at the Sears photo gallery, photo studio portrait. Yeah, no. Yeah. Okay. Not I'm looking that. at the entire wallet. Oh, the yeah. entire wallet. Yeah, but yeah. let's say you do focus on that picture of them together because she's your homeroom teacher. Mm-hmm. You what's you know, you like her? I mean, mm-hmm. you, yeah. You respected her mm-hmm. or respect her? Yeah. Okay, um, so Mark, so you see him, what? Nothing, go on. <laughs> Alright, so you see, you're looking at this picture, this mm. portrait, and you are kind of like seeing suddenly this relationship between the two of them. Mm. You see um, the fact that like, like she doesn't really know anything about him. Mm. Like... Like, they really aren't that connected. And she has no idea, like, who he really is. And who he really is is not entirely clear, except you suddenly get this feeling about, like, Neil and, like, Captain Steve and, like, the fact that, like, they're all in, like, cahoots. And they are this group um, of people, and there's a larger group. Mark's just one of many who are out to get rid of things that they don't understand. Mm. And then the vision fades. Mm. All right. So, I'm going to pocket his wallet for now. Um, and uh, say, um, I think we're in trouble. <laughs> you say that? <laughs> yeah. Rodrigo, what do you do when you hear that? Um, I don't know. I'm sure it, there's a lot flashing through my mind right now. Mm-hmm. Sort of these implications of there being... Because um, he did say there was a we involved. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. the there's thing. this... Yeah, yeah. A larger group. Mm-hmm. But clearly... He had no superior means of defending himself. He was pretty easy. Yeah. And so there's kind of this, I don't know, bring it on sort of Hmm. mentality. Hmm. Oh, it's our first group kill. From you? (laughs) 
Yeah. Your feeling of bringing it on? Do you feel like you can yeah. handle it? Whatever yeah. They, whatever right. they have. No. Okay. This was easier than I thought it would be. In uh-huh. fact, it's uh-huh. kind of disappointing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And mm-hmm. so, yeah. bring it on. Right. Okay. Who cares okay. if there's more? Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. That's perfect sense. Although I think I'm gonna look down at my hands and like, oh, and then like, <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. So, like, yeah. That is nice. So Maury, when you hear that, when he says, "I think we're in trouble," what do you what do you do? What do you mean that we're in trouble? Mm-hmm. There's more where he came from. There's more. Lots more. <gasps> so, it's gonna hit me then that the victimization may not stop, and I think a lot of the memories come back. Oh no! And I'm gonna run. Okay. You run for it? Yeah. yeah. Let's All do right. it. Roll the volatile. <laughs> Eight. Ten. Ten! Awesome. Ten. Yeah. He's exploding. Okay. Yeah. So you I get just... away. Where, where is your safe place, Maury? Um, used to be the cemetery uh-huh. where I was reborn. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna go to the church. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. The center of all my Satanic practices. Yes. <laughs> so, so you go to the, um, you know, the church is, is closed at this time of night. Oh, but I, yeah, I work there. I have, I can get in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so where do you go in the church? Um, there's a font, right? I guess where they mm-hmm. might keep the holy water. Mm-hmm. Sure. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna go to that font and cast a circle with a pentagram or something. And, so you hear some footprints, behind, footsteps behind you. Oh, wow! Mm-hmm. As I'm saying my prayer, which I looked up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Your reverse Latin. And then yeah. <laughs> so, you're, so you're so you're muttering this, right? You're yeah, yeah, yeah. Your thing, and then um, it's one of the it's the there's a nunnery there. Mm. Um, and so the Mother Superior um, is suddenly there. <laughs> So, what does she look like? Oh, what does she look like? Mm-hmm. Oh, just the, the kindest mm-hmm. old oh woman, God. and I used to hunt her. Yeah, I was really? determined to eat her flesh really? in the past. Yeah. But yeah, now she's just a sweet old lady. Yeah, but, that yeah, one but, day I'm determined to turn to the dark power. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Ultimate the, innocent soul. Yeah, but she's like, it's like one of those, like, goals that I know it's going to take <laughs> Long, a while. Long-term goal, five-year plan. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not going to be easy. I have to work up to that. <laughs> Mother Superior. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in five years? <laughs> uh, so, I'm here from the dark power. So are you, are you crouched down? Are you crouched down, like, doing this? Like, yeah, on the yeah, yeah. Okay, so you feel this hand on your back, oh my just God. gently. Oh, oh Lord. Uh, and she says, what are you doing, dear? Oh, uh, I recognize her voice. Yeah. Pray, pray. I'll pray with you. Oh, okay. So she starts. So she so she breaks out her rosary and starts uh, start going in the hail marys and yeah. Is the, so? Is there any effect from actual like authentic holy prayers? Is there against me? I, would, there? I think so. Okay. I think it 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 might hurt if if actual blessed water touches my skin. <laughs> True. <laughs> or I, I think I mean you you went to your safe place, so I don't want to take that away from you. Oh yeah. So yeah, for whatever yeah. reason, because you have this like little soul homunculus hanging out with you, <laughs> it's like a buffer. It's like a okay. buffer too. So whatever pain that soul's experience, that soul's kind of absorbing the pain from those prayers. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So you're not really feeling the effects, and so you feel kind of soothed and strangely comforted yeah. by her huh. presence. Yeah. Just strange. Yeah. Yeah. But after being next to someone who's so evil, mm-hmm. this, yeah, yeah, it makes sense. It might be comforting. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we'll yeah, that. So. I would like to make, to make a bid to get rid of my just a boy condition. Huh, oh. Why? What are you going to do? Yeah, dispose of this body. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so Maury has run away. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Rodrigo, what do you, you have this jawbone. Right. Yeah. Okay. What do you want to do? I'm going to need a private moment to collect myself. <laughs> okay. Oh, another note! Right. Well, it's been sitting there. It's just the one that had been there. It's just the it's just one. The, just yeah. the one. So, so, you are, so you're walking around this train car, taking in the evening. Scrubbing my hands with some leaves. Yeah, exactly. Mm. And there's um, this like exposed metal part of the, of the, look of the, of the train car. Mm-hmm. And the moonlight's hitting it just right. Mm-hmm. And the shine of it kind of cut, catches your eye. Mm-hmm. And what do you see? 
Well, at first I see it's like very blurry because mm-hmm. it's, you know, metal. It's not particularly well polished. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's, it, obviously it looks like it's my face. It's a girl's mm-hmm. face. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think the longer I stare at it, mm-hmm. um, it looks more and more like Judy's face. Whoa. Whoa. And it is Judy. Oh. And she's looking at you. Oh my God. She's just staring. Mm-hmm. Wow. What do you do? <laughs> I'm gonna lock eyes with her mm-hmm. in the reflection. Yeah, it becomes more vivid. Like the more you engage, the more mm-hmm. vivid than she becomes. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get him, mm. and I'm going to get all of them. Ooh! Wow! Wow! wow. Nice. Mm-hmm. And so she she nods, mm-hmm. and then she vanishes from the reflection. Ah. Okay, and so where do you head? Do you head home? Um. Or where do you go? No, I'm kind of responsible for this body, so I feel like... Okay. <laughs> <you're gonna> bring- <laughs> okay. So we have Nyx, right? There still? Yeah, so I start looking awkwardly around like, um, how are we going to get rid of this? <laughs> okay. So, so I'm just like, Nyx, why don't you take Rachel and Casey home? Casey? The little blue light kind of like light. flitters yeah. near your face. Still don't see a Casey. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it kind of buzzes by your ear and says, I'm Casey, you turd. <laughs> <laughs> and it, but it's in a cute way that yeah. you can't help but love. Casey, yeah. turd. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> you don't want Nyx to assist? I mean, Nyx is pretty strong. True, true. There's not a lot Casey, left of this guy, Casey though. Could yeah, illuminate, think, Casey could eliminate the no, way. I don't, to, I don't want Casey to see me doing this. Oh. Mm. Then you yeah. need to talk to Casey yourself. She's not going to go. She's I'm going to shut down Casey myself. All right. Whoa. Didn't you just promise yourself to her? No, wait. Yeah, you, I you sure did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, shutting her down instantly. Yeah. Oh, man. How, how things can change in yes. a week and a half an hour. How teenage boy of you. This is how we do it. Okay. Um, wow, that's not seven. Work. That's a seven, actually. Okay. So, fortunately, thank God. All right. So I come across poorly, and they give me a condition. But um, let's see. I've got cold as ice. Rule yeah. seven or higher. I may choose an extra option. Okay. So yeah, I am just going to actually. Or what did the hypnosis thing work better? Hypnotic. Uh, does she have any strings on me? Yes. See. She does. Okay. <laughs> well, then that wouldn't work. All right. So, uh, so I'm going to say she loses a string on me, actually. Casey does. Hmm. And I gain a string on Casey. Okay. Okay. So what do you say to her? I, I say you need to go. Go with Nyx. Well, she goes in the opposite direction. Okay. Just fades into the forest. Yeah. But you could actually, what she does is she screams in your ear. No. Before she leaves. Oh, yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. What does she say? Just screams. Like, oh. Ah! <laughs> just like, like a banshee, you know. Oh, oh I'm shit. Like Tinkerbell. Oh. Yeah. So she imposes a condition on me. What is it? Jackass. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Nice. Shakespearean. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, so, I've got a question. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Nyx did something that was not only incredibly obvious, mm-hmm. but also super out of character mm. that we all witnessed. Mm-hmm. Mm. Does that count as maybe getting a string on Nyx? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yes. We all get a string on Nyx. Phenomenal. <laughs> I haven't had a single one ever at all at this point. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I to complete then. my set. Mm-hmm. Wow. I got so many strings on all of you. Uh, yeah. Well, you got to start using them. You got to start using them. Yeah. You know, I I'm not sure if uh, after seeing that little interaction, I'm not sure if I want to. I'm not sure if I want to walk away. Okay. Um, yeah. What about Rachel though? What do you say? What, so, so you say? How does Rachel take you're like, like yes, yeah, like, okay, see, and Rachel get out, like take them home, mm-hmm, and I'm like mm-hmm. being all like Mr. Cool, yeah, like, Joe Cool, yeah, as I'm like lighting up a cigarette, and so Rachel's like, I'm not going anywhere. I'm in mm. this. And she looks at Nyx. Ooh. Oh, man. in this. Ooh. All right. So what do you got to do? Uh, I say we uh, say we drag the body into the cage that's underneath the, the train and just... Oh. Leave it there? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> leave it there. Leave the door open so something can get in. 
It'll uh, close after the thing. What do you think go going after it? Ooh, no. although... No, it's dead. Hmm. What? If there are others, wouldn't it be more interesting if someone comes to check on this trap that they know is here to find someone they know inside? Oh. That's good oh, stuff. I like that. oh, there we go. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. So, um... I can, uh, I can drag him in, spring it, and then walk right out. Mm-hmm. Oh, Although, what? I'm going to be very, very careful about making sure that I get my scarf in its entirety off of him. Yeah, oh, yeah. So you're, so you're carefully un- unwinding and... I, well, I know the power sure of leaving get... personal items behind. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I think yeah. you want to make sure you get him in his entirety off your scarf. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, this oh, is going yeah. in the fireplace. <laughs> <Disgusting>. <laughs> but with intent. Yeah. Okay. With intent. So you all are, um, so you, you do this, you put him in that trap under the... Yeah, and then I spring the door, spring and then just, you know, stand up through it, and just walk <laughs> yeah. out to the other side, and then walk around okay. back so to where cool. everyone's you waiting. you do that! Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's great. I, here's, here's my only concern with that, mm. is that they might think he got trapped in there. But his right. jaw's pulled off. Like, his jaw's pulled off, but melted. something might have come to... Yeah, he's kind of withered and doesn't really resemble himself anymore. Right. That's a good... Some, so, and I wanna, the wallet. Oh, so I was going to say, the wallet. And the wallet's missing. Right. Ooh! Yeah, yeah the note. write a note. Mm. We have your dog. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, okay, <laughs> no, so, but, <laughs> you know... <laughs> It's just, that's, yeah. It's, it's, people do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. something a note. Yeah. So, so you want to leave a note? We should leave a note and put it where. Who's writing that note? Was. Who's writing that note? Mm. I'll write it. I'm trying to get rid of my just the boy condition. So. Okay. Mm. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I think I think with this, yeah. Ooh, so what, what are you gonna, gonna, what gonna, gonna, gonna say? What are you gonna write? Yeah. Um, be a big man. <laughs> be a big man. <laughs> be a big man. Yeah, you're not a boy. I'll now. say. Uh, I'll say uh, okay, one one down. The rest of you fuckers are next. Good. Awesome. Yes. You're next. Yeah. All right, yeah. All right, so you ah. fold it up, yeah. put it into his gross jeans, and then yep. just cram his body into Those that trap. Those were nice sassoons. <laughs> <laughs> Those were nice, Vito. No, oh, Vito. No. <laughs> Jordash. You know, Esprit de corps. It's free. It's free. It's free. Oh, oh, my God. Oh. Okay, so if you he doesn't do... look good, they don't look good. That's right. God, he does not look good right now. He does not look good. So, <laughs> so you, um... Somewhere in Paris, Vito said to says, he's like, oh, oh, <laughs> Like Chuck. So, um, <laughs> all right. So you, so you, um, so you all are standing there, just staring at this trap. And mm. so, what do you do? Yeah. <laughs> just silently, all walk away. Yeah, walk yeah. away in, this, in, in, in different directions again. All right. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull rank as MC. I want. I'm gonna I'm ask put, if I can have one of your cigarettes. There, there we go. go. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Of course. All right. I'm, I'm pulling rank here. So you all have a string on Colleen. We do. You know she's weird. Yes. Yeah. You know she's. We know she's this has been established. She's a wacky weird lady. Mm. I think I can find out where Colleen is. Yeah. We're, you know where she works. You know she works with Bob Lobsterman. You've seen her. You know. Mm. You know. Kind of. You know. You've seen her like. Uh, God, I'm trying to think of the right word. Well, she uh, always smells like crawfish. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, there's and so like and like shelling and like um you know like selling lobster rolls constantly. Mm, yeah. yeah. So you know where you know where Bob Lobsterman's houseboat is. Like it's very well known because it's actually really charming and nice. So I think you're the best place to go trick or treating. It is. <laughs> yes. He's the one who gives out the the king size candy bars. Yes. He's yeah. the, one the, he full, the full candy bar. Yeah, the full candy bar guy. He does. He's the guy. Yeah. He, he also always bakes up lobster croquettes to hand out. He does. Um, yeah. To the he's, parents. He's so nice. Yeah. So I little think. Platter. I think, yeah. He's, yeah, he's got the he's got the little pump of uh, coffee. That yeah, he out to always. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, what a guy. So he's, he's um, the and you know that. And he's, <laughs> ah. he's not. No, he's not. No. There has to be some. There has to be some, some redeeming, leavening. Yeah, some redeeming. There is one source of good. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah, we've already got these suppressed memories leading to a ring of child rapists. That's very on brand for the eighties. <laughs> the, so. the Satanists. So. Yeah, the Satanists. Yeah. Although I like that it's the Satanist who's trying to uncover <laughs> the ring of child rapists. Yeah! I think that sounds like the most likely option. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but to be fair, stuff. it seems like they're also acknowledging and hunting supernatural creatures in your town. It's very complicated. Yeah. Right. So, anyway. Most things. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, suddenly, so you is. all find yourself at the door of... Bob Lobsterman's house. Yes. Oh no! So. You're gonna we torment knew. the men. We knew where to find you. You knew where. You knew where. Why? She Why are you bothering me? Why? And we're all smoking. Why? And you're all smoking <laughs> cigarettes. <Okay. laughs> can I? Can I do like an enticing like like little little whistle? Yeah. 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 That would okay. work. So yes. let's turn someone on. 
Yes. Right. Ooh. 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 Oh. Firing that up. Could I like finish my prayer with the uh, yes. Mother Superior? Oh my God! Make my way there. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna spend yeah. one of my strings on Colleen to add a plus one to my roll. Nice. <clears throat> so that gives me a plus two. I'm going to come strolling up and I'm really surprised. Like, yeah. you can see everyone right. else there. Like, like, Wait a minute. So I got How an, you know? an yeah. eight. 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 Yeah. Okay. So. So they can either give a string or choose one of the reactions. Okay. So Colleen, when you hear, you hear this whistle. Yeah. And um, so you can either, you can give, you can give Rodriguez a string or three following. Give yourself to her, promise something, or act embarrassed and awkward. Get embarrassed and act awkward. It smells like I have something in my pocket for you. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I will get up and I will... Open. What is Lobster? Is he asleep? He's asleep. He's, he's got to get up in like three he's hours. He's passed out. Exactly. <laughs> he's kind of passed out. He's like on his little like like armchair and he was like watching you two. And he's just right. like... Oh. He's and he's by the door. He didn't lock his front door. Right. Oh. That's okay. Except there's a little paw again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Look at those big paws coming back up. Yeah. <laughs> Hitting the latch. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> and pushes, yeah. Pushes open through. the door. And then I was Omar silent. follows you. Yeah, we'll silently slink on out. Okay. Yeah. We're on the dock now with you. Okay. Yeah. Good. All right. What do you have in your pocket? I'm going to pull out the jawbone. Oh! oh nice. <laughs> so what are you doing, man? How do you get? I mean, Colleen, what do you do with it? <laughs> you immediately sit. <laughs> <laughs> what would a wolf do with a fresh jawbone? Well, I'll start. Well, yeah, but you know it's Mark's, right? Like it's, I was going to say, smell it. Sniff it, you it? Sniff yeah, it. I would know when it was him. Yeah. How it smells do you do like that? his brand of chewing tobacco. Oh! 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 There's still some of the bottom teeth. There's still some of the bottom teeth. Plus, you yeah. can taste just a little bit of the oral cancer. Yeah. Oh, yes! yes! You could definitely smell that. Yes! Wow. Oh, that's gross. Okay, so I'm not going to chew on it. No. I'm not. But, but I, it's I, great that he's dead. I'm totally he's thrilled that yeah. he's dead. So I'm like feeling very grateful. <laughs> oh, oh, she, she, oh. she, she knows. She knows. She's like, I want a jawbone. <laughs> <laughs> With all the gristle. I knew, I knew it. Myself. I yeah. freaking knew it. Okay, mm-hmm. so you so I'm are very grateful. You are. I'm very happy. How do you, how do you express that? My tail is wagging. Okay. My tail is wagging, and mm-hmm. I am just going to like follow her, whatever okay. she's doing. Okay. Next. So do you want to give Rodriguez string? Sure. Yeah. Okay. I give well, I think that she chose to give her. herself <laughs> to me, though. Like, give, she, she came out. Yeah, and, her yeah. coming yeah. out of the Oh, okay. Yeah. I was reacting to that. Yeah. She already fulfilled her. There we go. Okay, so um, you all are seeing this, and so you see that, like, Colleen, like, yeah, she's, like, definitely in... This is awesome. ...wolf form, like, she's a wolf. What do you do, Lucian? Um... I don't know, I just... And Omar's <laughs> sniffing you. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, I'll just, uh... <laughs> I'll say, is it okay if I pet you? <laughs> <laughs> so he's just looking at you. Like, he's not, he doesn't react either way. There's no tail wag. No. Yeah. No. Mm. So he's sniffing, he's sniffing you, Nix, but not for very long, because you don't really have a smell or anything. Nope. Yeah. He, like, kind That's of avoids you and Rachel. Uh-huh. Then he goes up to Maury. Yeah. And sniffs you, too. Yeah. So, Colleen, what are you doing? Uh-huh. All, of this, all of your I care of not a single fig. I only have eyes for Rodriguez. Oh. oh okay. Oh. All right. So, um... <laughs> So, so uh, yeah, I think we'll I think we'll fade out um, yeah. on that scene. Mm-hmm. Is there something else you all wanted to do? Or you were mm-hmm. thinking about? No, okay. I think I just might goose Omar a little bit by like trying to pat his hindquarters and like you know how like dogs kind of freak out sometimes. When yeah, they're not paying attention. His, his, and you're, like, well, yeah, like wolf. And suddenly there's like, <sighs> like yeah. he kind of like lashes back. Like, yeah, exactly. yeah, he gets a little like little lip, lip sneer. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. Like, Don't touch my butt. Yeah, right. 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 Don't touch it. <laughs> Wait, keep touching it. Wait. Ooh. <laughs> Wait, I gotta like that. Spot is a good spot. <laughs> okay, was there anything else before we fade out on this scene? Well, what? Hmm. hmm. We've all killed this guy together. It's pretty yeah. exciting. <clears throat> Just about. I'm into it. So, and so everyone also heard the like pedophile ring thing. Oh, okay, and um, also. I'm well, sorry, Colleen did. Because yeah. you, uh, you and Omar learned off about so, so here's what's going to happen. Here's what's gonna, I'm going ref- to reframe really quickly. Okay. So, so you walk from the pier and you go to like this gazebo that's like kind of set up like near the center of town. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and you can all kind of sit in there and talk. Okay. So oh, you can kind okay. of what if we go back up our water tower. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, the water yeah, tower. Yeah, it's a little tower. too painful. I don't know. Oh. I can't do it in the four feet. <laughs> That's true. So okay. the gazebo's fine. Gazebo. All right. All right. So but go... thanks for the reminder. Yeah, that was a good, that was, that is yeah. a good spot. We'll use it for something else. Especially in the summertime. Yeah. Yeah. So, so go to the We've just reconciled. It's too fresh. So you're at this gazebo, and and so now you're start, starting to like just kind of put the pieces together of what you know. It's been a night. It has been quite a night. So do you transform back into Shocking your? I don't know. I guess that can happen at this point. Yeah, you I can. mean, I've kind of like cooled down. Yeah. So you have mm. control over it. And the sun comes up. All right. Yeah. So yeah. that's cool. Okay. Yeah. So as the sun's coming up, you are talking and chatting right. about what happened. So what were you? Listening? We'll say it's well, a Saturday. My thought yeah. is. Yeah. Um, my assumption is probably that Judy's dad is part of this group, whoever they are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to use the information that I have right. mm-hmm. to make that inference. Okay. Right. And so mm-hmm. I'm going to tell everyone else yeah. okay. that I think I know someone we can use to get at the others. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I mm-hmm. bet we can use oh, cool. this memorial concert for nice. Judy as a trap. Nice. Oh. That's so good. Yep. Okay. Yeah. You are so smart, Rodrigo. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> and Omar's kind of like, like he's taken aback a little bit. Like, I'll, I'll lean in and offer Colleen and Coors Light silver bullet. So <laughs> 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 oh teenage boy has a warm Coors Light. Yeah, like why would you have it? Pocket? Yeah. Dude, just I've always got one. one on me. Coors yeah. Light. <laughs> you know, my, my, I always have a vest, you know, so I've always got a little... <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Come up with like the beer bandolero. Yeah. Yeah. Party. If it's gonna be a party, yeah. It's a little yeah. shook up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So, so, so Colleen needs just to be a dick and like interrupt so the moment. Yeah. 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 Oh God. Yeah. So Colleen, when you're when you're saying that about Rodrigo, Omar, yes. you, there's a little like Omar's kind of observing, like he's he's. Did he think we were married? I don't know. Well, I don't get his you issue. Have a spiritual connection. <laughs> You have a spiritual connection. Did I say anything? Am I did, did uh, I remember hearing about you all night. <laughs> I didn't think that constituted an agreement on my part. <laughs> oh, oh, my. So he's a little flash. That's all I'll say. So what do you all think about this idea that Rodrigo has? Oh, that's brilliant. I Love think it. Uh, I think Rachel and I know someone also who uh, might be part of it. Oh, yeah. Who's that? Uh, Pastor Blank. <gasps> Hmm. Yeah, well, uh, to be most effective, Rodrigo, <laughs> I would need the hex lifted. Oh, here we go. Wait, wow. Rodrigo, are, you, are you still your darkest self? I am. Yes, yeah, oh, yeah. she is. So you're saying this. So what do you all think? You're hearing this hex? You're hearing this talk about hex? What, what do you all think? What do you make of this? Lucian, what do you make of this? Makes sense. What else would she, would she be? Uh, <laughs> what do you think of this hex? <laughs> Lifting a hex. A hex? Yeah. No, I mean, like, what's a hex? What's a hex? <laughs> what's a hex? <laughs> what's a hex? 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 <laughs> uh, that would be the title. That's but... damn funny. <laughs> so, uh, and Colleen, what yeah. like, you hear this yes. about this uh-huh. hex. What, uh-huh. do you, what do you make of that? What do you make of that? Nothing. I'm yeah. Not, not, I mean... Something between them. Yeah. So. It's a, it's a short word and yet a, a big word at the yeah, same time. Yeah, well, there's an accident, which is odd. <laughs> yeah, yeah, those, those words are always tough, right? Trouble, trouble. Weird. We all know it's mm-hmm. worth a lot in Scrabble. You know what she looks like? Oh, yeah. She does, doesn't she? That's pretty cool. Yeah. She does. Maybe what happens? You look a lot this. better. You look a lot better. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Maybe the hex did that. Maybe the hex made her yeah. improve. Yeah. Maybe she was born with it. Maybe it's the hex. Anti-weather? So you say this, so you're like, lift the hex, please. Yeah. Like, again. And so, Rodrigo, what do you do? I'm going to stare you in the eyes, Uh-oh. Morgan. <laughs> You're going to swear to me <gasps> if you ever betray me. <laughs> if you ever betray me. Define betray. No, oh, my sorry. God. <laughs> <laughs> if anything you do or say, Morgan, <laughs> betrays me mm-hmm. or my trust, I will know. Mm-hmm. And I will destroy you. Mm. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, yes, I agree. You just saw me melt a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I have new powers too, though. I yeah, she, you were like, I just stole a soul. <laughs> <laughs> At the same time, I'd like to pull a string on Morgan. Ooh, and give her a condition. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. 
Because she can tell I'm serious. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm so I want to get rid of the condition, uh, small fish, big pond. Mm. Ooh, what does that Realizing mean? that she's really not as powerful mm. as maybe she thinks she is. Mm. It gives you, it gives, yeah, so when she pulls that string, so that's, it gives you a little twinge of like, oh, maybe I... Oh, like I lose confidence in something yeah. I'm trying to do. Right, exactly. Okay, so you're I'm just kind of like, oh, yeah. I'm in way over my head. But you, Which yeah. actually is part of my description. It is, isn't it? Yeah. So, so, I, I so, tend yeah. to get overconfident. That's and right. Oh. Cause harm to my, bring harm to myself. Yeah. Nice. So mark yeah. that down for one it's of your conditions in, or conditions. <laughs> yeah. It's just it's all awesome. around the healthier person. Yeah. yeah. A You're person just her again. life coach. That's all. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Check uh. yourself before you wreck yourself. That's right. <laughs> so yeah. So add Not that on to my you. watch. <laughs> so add that to your condition list. Yeah. Well. Fish. Big, Big pond. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Love it. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. um, so Lucian, hmm. do you have any strings you want to pull? Not in this moment. I'm formally. Okay. Next. Oh, so the hex is gone though, right? I'm gonna think about it. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> you can still pull strings though, and like do things. So yeah. Yeah. Ooh. So she's thinking about it. Oh, okay. Maybe she's open to the idea now. Yeah. She's open That's to being. Open I still want to make this deal with Doctor Prothers. This is. Taking way too long. <laughs> okay, yeah. all right, all right. Well, and that's the. Uh, no, no, no. Wasn't the deal already made? Yes. So, yeah. So here's so the what thing. Is the... You, what the the thing that's going on with the move is that you need to, um, you give the dark power a string. So you gave the string to Doctor Carruthers to realize a secret about someone. The owner of that character will reveal one of their secret fears, desires, or strengths. They choose which. Does that happen? So, okay. No. Oh, so okay. her. So she, Rodriguez has to get to the point where she feels open enough. That she will reveal that secret to you. But mm. Dr. Cronus has made it that it will happen. It's just not happening in the time that you want it to. Oh. Mm. I know. It sounds but, terrible but, that you make a dark pact and it doesn't turn out exactly yeah, like you want it. I think you should make a pact with someone more powerful. Yeah. Can I take it back? Because it's, <laughs> oh. it's not really you useful. Can't, here's if, the thing. You can't, can't for, you can't Does someone you hear that thought that you're having? <laughs> Can I take Maybe. that string back, please? <laughs> Maybe, but it's already the deal's been made, so okay. it, it can it's only happen. Deal. I mean, I'm I'm playing it according to the rules. The rules oh, are okay. that the owner of the the character will reveal one of their secret fears, desires, or strengths. I think it's interesting. There is tension here. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, and yeah. so Good. she doesn't. Necess- she what is going to happen to make her feel open enough to share a secret? And it, the secret is going to be big. Yeah, it's going to be big. It will pay <laughs> off, but this is the tension. This is the story. Mm, okay. But what, what do you want to do about it? Is this it? what the note passing has been about? No. No. Oh, okay. no. What, what would you rather do? What would you rather do? Uh, not have that third string on me. Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> and, yeah. And then I'll just continue playing. Okay. As we are. Which, okay. it seems like that's what would happen anyway. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. All right. To so, be fair, really what it is, I've never tried to undo a hex before. Mm. As my Ooh. character, and so yeah. I don't want to have yeah. anyone watch in case I can't. <laughs> yeah. I don't want you oh, to know okay. that I can't. So I'm, okay, so now it's finally dying on me. God damn it. The owner will reveal a secret. You just did that. Yeah. I don't know if I can. There you go. Oh, so that's the Duh. secret. So oh. so it says the owner. I'm sorry. I was taking it like as the character would reveal, reveal that to you. I'm sorry. Mm. So that's my bad. So that's the secret. The secret is that she does not know to do a hex. Oh. Okay. Well, shit. Did it not seem like it was a big deal? Did, were you expecting something different, or? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, something that I can use to manipulate her. That is something you can manipulate. Because well, basically, you she's not as powerful. She's as she not as powerful she as, as she's not as powerful as she thinks she is. Oh, okay. It's all projection. I know I'm not as powerful as I. Yeah. You I am. So, so that that's the secret. Sorry, I didn't mean to draw it out as long. Oh it no, took that's me okay. A while to understand. Was that a small fish in one big pond? Yeah. So Rodriguez is also as teenagers. Exactly. Yes. 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 So you're both in these weird positions where you're thinking you're stronger, more powerful than you are, but your powers, one, can override you and kind of overwhelm you. At the same time, you can't take some of that back. Mm. Mm. So I did not mean to, to draw it out as long as it did. <laughs> I did not take a look at this particular character before we started, so me reading it and absorbing it has been immediately. So it took me, you know, what, two and a half hours <laughs> to absorb it. But now we have to come up with this trap. Yes. Yes. So, mm. so that being said, so that is the secret. The secret is that Rodriga actually does not know if she will ever be able to undo the hex that she put on you. Okay. Um, or any hex. And right. that's a secret. Yeah. Fear, um, which I think is pretty scary. Um, now, speaking of Doctor Carruthers, yes, we're supposed to report back. 
on things, right? Sure. Yeah. That was that was one of the things she asked us to do in detention. Mm-hmm. So long ago. <laughs> so long ago. Months ago. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> when we were she, first she... like put together as a group. You know, to be fair, this is the first time we've all together seen something <laughs> that true. is reportable. That's true. Yeah. yeah. All right, so, maybe so you all know where she that. lives. So Nick, Probably. do you want to describe where? Do you know where she lives? Oh, I would me? know. I think. Or yeah, Maury, you know yeah, where Maury, she lives. Yeah. Where does she live? Yeah. Um, in the Garden District. Okay, that's yes, there is. Yeah, there you go. Okay, there is. There probably yeah, is. So that's where she lives. All mm-hmm. right. Yeah. What does your house look like? <laughs> Thanks. Is it nice? Know, there's a shadow right here, and I can yeah. see it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. It's a townhouse. It's um, mm-hmm. let's say that it's uh, pink. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Right. I'm thinking of one in New Orleans in particular. Yeah. Ooh, that's perfect. Yeah. White shutters. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's July, so she might have flowers Gardens. burning all over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The garden. Of course. Yeah. In the Garden District. Yeah, that's right. Sounds lovely. So nice little green patch of. They've got an HOA. Front lawn. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Someone comes and mows it every whenever. <laughs> well, that is Satan. So yeah. 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 An HOA. Yeah. Uh, so at this point, it's like midnight. And so you're Ooh. walking up to Dr. Carruthers' house. Yeah. All the lights are on. Wait, midnight? It, isn't it after dawn? Cause yeah, I thought you said the, it was morning. The sun came out. Yeah, the morning. Sure. It's after dawn. <laughs> so it's the morning. The That's the only reason I was up. thinking of going. The birds are singing. Yeah. yeah. Can I invoke her or something like that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be really great if you really did like make this elaborate. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. So but cool. it's just her in her bathrobe. Yeah. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You draw yeah. a sign on her front door. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> and then she just opens up and she's got curlers. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that, so she welcomes you all in. That's exactly yeah. how it happens. So she welcomes you all in. Come in. Come in, come in. Uh, yay. Closes Shower the door. Cap. So the interior of the house, what does it smell like, Lucian? Oh, the interior mm-hmm. of the house. Well, like you said, she's having coffee, so mm-hmm. it smells like coffee, primarily. Mm-hmm. Um, it also smells like uh, pine saw. Pine saw? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Covering a multitude of sins. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Everything is, is immaculate. Mm, everything's in its place. Yeah, there's no dust anywhere. Yeah. God. Wow. Interesting. Not even on door lintels. Okay. Or under mm-hmm. tables or anything. All right. So, all right. Nick, what room does she bring you into to talk to you all? What does it look like? Uh, she brings us into the solar. Okay. Yeah. All right. So it's uh, you know a lot of glass. Mm-hmm. The uh, there's cascading vines over the mm-hmm. over the windows, mm-hmm. um, but they like they drop shadow mm-hmm. uh, into the room itself. So it's it's kind of sinister. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Um, so mm-hmm. it's it's a room that's meant to feel very open and big, but mm-hmm. actually it feels kind of cagey. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. Thank you, Maury. In terms of Dr. Crothers, what is so she said she's in curlers and what else is she wearing and how does she kind of look? You know, at this point in the morning. Uh, well, uh, I think Ms. Batillion already took the pink fluffy robe, right? <laughs> yeah. So she's wearing a flowery silk kimono. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. But she still has curlers. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Are they the sponge kind or they have a hard, like, like wire kind? I guess or? in the 80s, sponge ones were uh-huh. the big yeah. thing. Yeah, I think okay. she Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. And... Yeah, uh, she's wearing big fluffy bunny slippers. Yeah, nice. Completely nice. innocent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but if you uh, take a deep breath, you can detect the uh, sulfury smell that's coming from the back of the house. Whoa. Mm. Yeah. All right, Where cool. Nice. Carry out some certain rituals. Yeah. <laughs> you, have you been in there? Yeah. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> And so, Colleen, um, what? How are you feeling being in this 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 another house? That's like this woman living here, presumably alone. Like, is it kind of reminding you of Miss Battalion, or what? What's going through your no. mind? No, mm-hmm. um, there's a sinister. It's a different kind of sinister. And I'm I'm aware that there's an enormous amount of things here that don't seem very mm-hmm. physical. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a lot of illusion. Okay. Mm. That's my animal sense telling me that none of this is actually quite what you're seeing is not what you're seeing. Oh, oh neat. It's like a shimmering mm-hmm. pulsity. Mm-hmm. Something. Nice. Mm-hmm. Cool. And Rodrigo, what are you what are you feeling like being in this house? Like she's the principal. Like mm-hmm. what what are you feeling? Mm. I 
feels really weird being in this house where it feels like nobody's actually living in it. Ah, you know, it's yeah, very yeah. Um, kept. Mm-hmm. Nothing's out of place. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like it def- it's staged almost, right? Yes. yes. Oh, like a model home. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Right. Yes. Okay. Um, it definitely has that quality of, um, yeah, being just just a, a facade. Okay. Mm. There's There's something else underneath this isn't real. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, she's, you know, this authority figure and don't really know her. And so mm-hmm. maybe this is just what it's like. Yeah, that's a good point. So she all gives you little mugs of coffee. And you're sitting in the solar and, and you're just, there's a couch, there's chairs, just like comfortable places to sit, even though it feels that strange model home kind of quality, surreal. Mm-hmm. And um, so she's looking at all of you. She's sitting in this, this, um, larger like red velvet um Uh, like um armchair hmm. and she even though she's the curlers no makeup Mm -hmm. there's still she's exuding this presence that is very um has authority Mm -hmm. and potent like there's latent power there Hmm. she has spiritual shoulder pads exactly (laughs) etheric shoulder pads yes oh yeah yes nice that's perfect i love that idea and so (laughs) So she's sitting there and she, she's looking at you all over her cup and she's like drinking her coffee and she says, what are you all doing here? Well, huh? uh, you may recall a certain you just start talking detention. Yes. yes. Yeah. Of course. Why okay. Would I? All right. So, and in fact, I will, uh, I will get my half empty pack of Marlboros out and start like kind of. <laughs> <laughs> bit, you know? So she hang her head. Uh-huh. You may recall our. Uh... No. <laughs> what? No She's smoking in the house. She's no. Not a fan. No. I don't, I don't see an ashtray. Does she have a? Does she have a string on me? Uh, yeah. Maybe. Uh, maybe. Yeah. I think she gave you a condition. But... She did. She did lay a condition on. Uh, my no ass. strings. No, no strings. strings. No. Well, then I'm going to try a hypnotize. Ooh. Mm. Bring it. All right. Yeah. Let's Bring try it. it. Take control. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Oh, Rolling with hot. Hot stuff. Mm-hmm. Coming through. Yeah. <laughs> that would be an 11. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> On 10 and up, they do exactly what you wish and have no idea anything is wrong. So, wow. you know, yeah, just the, the one cigarette pops out of the carton and <laughs> dry it out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and you light it? And yeah, I light I it. I love that you're using your power for that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very teenage thing to do. Yes! yes. Well, Antonia. Oh my uh, gosh! <laughs> Lydia, she says. Whatever. Whatever! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's her middle name. Yeah. Lydia, maybe, maybe it is. Lydia Antonia Carruthers. Yeah. <laughs> or, or Lydia's her middle name. So it's like Dr. A. Lydia Carruthers. Right. Oh, All right, yeah. sure. So, <laughs> so you say that. Yeah. And she's just kind of like just staring at you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We uh, have some information that may be of interest to you. What is that? Well, you asked us to look into some of the things that have been going on here in Greycliff. And uh, I can tell you that this town is rotten to the core. Mm hmm. Of course, we all knew that. There's nothing new about that. No, Keep going. There's nothing new. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why I'm here. <laughs> all right. Well, um, I guess the main question is whether you care about this because you want to stamp it out or whether because you're part of it. Are you accusing oh. me of something? <laughs> hey, hey. Possibly. Hey, hey. Possibly. Hey, hey. <laughs> no, you're fine. He <laughs> doesn't agree. No, no. <laughs> Are you accusing me of something, young man? I'm not accusing you of anything, but um, I'm curious if you have an inkling of what I'm talking about. I asked you to all look into different things going on in this town, because I can't be aware of everything happening. So any information you have would be helpful. Well, I have some information that there's a dead body out in the uh, old locomotive in the woods. Oh. One less thing to uh, pay attention to. Yeah. Yeah. One okay. less problem. <laughs> you chime in, that's what you say. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. One, less, uh, one less source of the Unless rot. Who was it? Mark Battalion. So you see that she is confused. 
She's confused. But then when she looks at Ma- Maury, she suddenly understands. Yeah. Do-do-do, so do-do-do. you're, you're too. So she's staring at you and <laughs> a little, a little pneumatic too with his soul goes. <laughs> 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 exactly. Um, but you, she, she looks at you once when he's when next when you say that name, then then Doctor Crothers looks at at Maury. I have something to give you. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> All right. Um, so she looks at Colleen. She looks at Rodrigo. And, uh, yeah. And, uh, I guess Omar went home. I'll just like, say that. Okay. Sure. <laughs> um, one less person to worry about. Um, and Rachel. And Rachel. Rachel. No, Rachel's still there. Yeah, she? Rachel's. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. think she's leaving my side. They're okay. weirdly, they're yeah. weirdly stuck together on multiple levels. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, hi. <laughs> been there, done that. Edie. So I think that, um, so she looks at Maury and seems to understand. And so what happened? She looks at Rodrigo and and she asks that. Mm-hmm. I think Rodrigo <laughs> probably like was drinking some coffee and cups. Like, <laughs> yeah. a little bit. Okay. Um, there's some very bad men who live in this town mm. who take a great deal in, of pleasure in uh, thinking they can hurt little girls. Mm. And uh, he just reminded him that uh, little girls can hurt back. So she, a little smile plays upon her lips, you know, when you say that. She nods. And, uh, Colleen, she looks at you and yes. is like, and what, what do you make of all of this? You were staying with, with Ms. Batillion. Yeah, I didn't notice anything particularly off or unusual about her. I mean, not until I thought maybe she was involved with her brother's situation. He's the corpse under the train. Uh, mm. I don't know. I don't know if I feel like... I don't know. I don't really have a whole lot of uh, emotional investment in this town right now. <laughs> Seems like things are getting a little bit out of control. Hmm. Well, that's why I called you all together, because we have to have some control over what's going on here. The mortals are out of control. <laughs> we are the ones who are in control. And that's why I chose all of you, because I know that you are strong in your own ways. And we need to push back. Oh, okay. The mortals... I mean, they would eat themselves alive. I mean, they'll eat each other alive. They, they don't really care. Um, but we have some to maintain some order here. So the better that we can do to make sure that things are peaceable and there's not a lot of um, attention brought to this town Uh in regards to the disgusting things that are taking place, the better. Mm -hmm. They're also hunting us. I don't know if you realize that. And she looks at Colleen, too, and she says that because of Omar and that arrow that happened on the spring fling. We totally realize that. Okay. They made it abundantly clear. Okay. This one had a crossbow. That's usually their weapon of choice. Well, they, there's one less. That's good. Well, I appreciate this update. Um, I'm just wondering, what do you propose to do next? We're going to tell her? Should we tell her? Well, my thought was, I think I know, I think we know of at least two other individuals who are probably involved in this ring. And one of them is involved with this event that I'm planning for next week. Oh, is that concert? It is. And I think that maybe we can use their nasty predilections against them to lure them into a trap. Hmm. Okay. I know that there's more of them than just two. I'm just not quite sure who else to target. <clears throat> Lucian, what are you thinking? So you're still smoking your cigarette? Oh, yeah. yeah. And I'm like tapping the ash off in the coffee. <gasps> oh! Hey! Yeah. Yeah. Wow! Uh, Sacrilege. <laughs> Sacrilege. All right. 
<laughs> In the name of all that is Gilmore, how could you? I know. <laughs> um, so I have a string on Dr. Carruthers. Yeah. Oh, okay. Somehow. Okay. I don't remember how. Um, so I can pull that string to tempt them to do what I want. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Which I'm thinking would be maybe if she could give us some kind of guidance on how to, you know, like, I don't know, something to pull off this plan or like who to target next or whatever. So. Who to target next? Yeah. A hint? Yeah. Since okay. Rodrigo just said that. Who's okay. the mayor of this town? Do we have a mayor? Exactly. Mm. Mm. We haven't generated the mayor yet, I don't well, think. I think he's, he's probably an mm-hmm. important guy. Yep. Mm-hmm. Mayor McChain. What? So. <laughs> All right, so what are you doing? Is this a Scottish conspiracy? <laughs> <laughs> Is it Scottish Mason? Is it Scottish right? Um, <laughs> All right, so what are you doing? Yeah, so so I'll just say uh, I'll just say just point us to the next target, and we'll do the rest. The mayor. The mayor. Whoa! The mayor. <laughs> All right then. So what do you know about the mayor, Lucian? What do we know about the mayor? Hmm. Is it Steve's brother? Mm. Oh, Steve. It was related. Why don't, oh, yeah. we, why don't we make it? Are. Why don't we make it that? Yeah, he is. Yeah. He's Dana's dad. Dana Stevenson, the lead singer of Dumpster Wolf's dad. Oh. Now you might oh. know, but well, so so what else do you know about? Uh, that's, that's all. Good. That's yeah, all that's you know. Good. It fits that's together. Good. Uh, okay, fine. I um, he once uh, threw me out of uh, out of their house because I was. Dating Dana briefly. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> How old were you? <laughs> like freshman in high school. Briefly. She was like a she was like a junior. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Because she's a little older than you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm. All right. It's good. I like that. It's yeah. wacky. It is. It's yeah. totally good. Yeah. I'm just you, like you know, Lucian was like dating oh, older. Oh, people. totally. No, no. Oh, I'm not. Absolutely. I'm not. Yeah. No, I think mm. it's totally appropriate. I'm just like, oh, I'm just, I'm huh. like picking it all yeah. in. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. So, Nick, what do you? So I have a personal history with. You do. That's okay. not positive. Not positive, yeah. no. What's his name? Something Stevenson. Um, let's say, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling a Doug. Do we have a Doug? No, we don't. Okay. Douglas. A Doug is coming through. Douglas Ooh, Stevenson. <laughs> okay. I'm hearing Doug. I'm okay. hearing Doug. Is there a Doug in the room? <laughs> <laughs> He's here. <laughs> All right. Doug is right. here with us. <laughs> All right. So, Nick, what do you know about the mayor? Uh, he was like a B-list movie star like oh, a decade ago. Nice. Yes, <laughs> yes. So how long has he been C-list in? Even. How long has he been in office then? Oh gosh, I mean, not very long, I guess. No, like you know, like four years, I'd say. Okay. You know, he he wrote he wrote on the uh, on the high of his uh, of his career. To... This is like Sonny Bono and Palm Springs yeah. kind of thing. I'm thinking more like Jesse the Body Ventura. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's got a future ahead of him. Okay, um... Governor of Maine. Head of Dana. Okay, and so... Okay, cool. All right, so Maury, what do you know about the mayor? Um, not only was he in B-movies, mm. he was in B-porn movies. Oh, oh yeah! yeah. Oh, nice. Also in stuff. porn? That is good stuff. Did you see it? Did you see, like, did, how did you know about that? How did you hear about that? Because um, when I was being victimized, I saw him uh-huh. there, and I think I saw... Something playing in the background, and it was in it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Watch oh, yes. this. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Well, they're all thick, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Of them. yeah. yeah. That's like that. That's like the yeah, thing. Right. Like, yeah. Oh, oh that. now we're done with you. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> Put your arm with porno now on the back. Now we're really yeah. done. <laughs> Just uh, yeah. Get the band. Took the first fan tonight. Wow. First fan of the evening. All right. Beautiful. All right. Mm. So, Colleen, what do you know about the mayor? Oh. <laughs> I don't think I know a heck of a lot. Uh, the mayor, the mayor, the mayor. You, he loves you, a lobster roll. He loves a nice lobster roll. <laughs> loves a nice lobster roll. So we might need that to trap him. That's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Classic <laughs> lobster trap. I'm also <laughs> wondering... <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering also since, like, you would kind of, like... Survey and like stalk around, yeah, and, like in the town. Maybe you've him? noticed any sort of like habits or things that you've noticed yeah. him doing at late at night. I would say he's the kind of guy to wear costumes. <laughs> okay, describe. Well, go on. I'm thinking that he's doing some kind of like 
goofy, quasi theatrical. Not he's in. Well, he can't let go of his acting past, so he's he in the community summer stock. theater summer, summer stock stock. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But he wears them a little too long. It's a little, yeah. He, it's he incorporates them into his regular wardrobe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Saying that he's promoting the film or something, and he just, that's an excuse to walk around with yeah. no costume. I don't maybe. think he made tons of the excuse. I think he'd probably just wear it and expect everyone else to be normal. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's wearing these costumes. I think he's got a real kind of a, a disconnect with re- reality and fantasy going on. Uh, mm. yeah. So the costume thing is happening at bizarre, inappropriate times, like whilst mm. committing crimes. Uh-huh. Ooh. Yikes. Mm. Okay, all right. Mm. And Rodrigo, what do you know about Does the he, um, oh, what? Sorry, sorry. Is, was, well, we well I was just thinking about, uh, there was a Midsummer Night's Dream reference earlier. Yes. So uh, who's the character who has a donkey head? And bottom. A, bottom. Uh, so did he play bottom and he has a donkey head thing see, that he wears? I can't think of anything more perfect than that. Yeah. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That's really fucking weird. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, crossed a line. Gonna make it clearly. Oh, yeah. Crossed a line. Yeah. Make yeah. it weirder. I'm just trying. I'm like making sense of this man. Make it okay. weirder. So, <laughs> right. Because so far we have a guy who's got his own porno from the 70s being projected in 16 mil. On, on, a, on a bed sheet while he's wearing a donkey head. Yes. <laughs> while committing unspeakable acts. So, so it's suddenly become eyes wedge shut. Basically, yeah. yeah. Oh, I was thinking Clockwork Orange. That's yeah. it. Yeah, any Stanley. We've crossed over to Kubrick. Kubrick, yeah. 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 It's not weirder than real life. Um, certain no. deeds. Certain deeds. Okay. Um, Rodrigo, what do you know about the mayor? Ah! I know that nobody really <laughs> seems to recall any mayors before him. Oh! Oh. That's neat. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. All right. So as you are all sitting there, kind of taking in her saying, you need to go after the mayor, mm-hmm. you... <laughs> We're all thinking about it. Like, all oh, here. No. Yeah, all these things pop oh, into yeah. your mind. Fucking level two boss. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Uh-huh. And, oh. and then she also says, um, just make sure you're keeping an eye on Neil. Oh, shit. And she looks at Lucian. I haven't forgotten about Neil? I totally oh, forgot about Neil. Neil, I the classmate forgotten. Neil? Like, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah your friend. Mm-hmm. Friend. Friend. <laughs> so he, he, was, he, was, he was being trained by Captain Steve. Oh, and, yeah, uh, he was. Yeah. Oh, that's... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's why we do archery in PE. Yeah. 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 It's all coming Neil. together. All right, so... We I, also establish he's not a wiper or washer. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Or a flusher. Or a flusher, yeah. yeah. That's right. He doesn't do a lot of things. No. <laughs> that doesn't make him a bad person. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a layer. It is such. It is. It's just building the, building the fund. Okay. Oh, dear. So, Colleen, huh? your home is in jeopardy. So Ter- terrible homeless. jeopardy. So, where are you going well, to be staying? What are you thinking? <sighs> Does anyone want to adopt? I, <laughs> I mean, also, like, I mean, I do. Nix, you're like, I'm already kind of homeless. You're kind of homeless, too. Yeah, I'm kind of half homeless. Uh, yeah. I was going to say this before, but I got sidetracked that mm-hmm. my parents are. That's true. Like, they've seen me change completely back to the so way I was. They're so happy. Cool. They're elated. Yeah. Yes. 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 She finally yes. passed so out of her goth phase. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> it was just a phase. It was yeah. just a phase. <laughs> <laughs> But Christmas is going to be all Abercrombie and Fitch gift certificates. Oh, yeah. You know? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And so um, I, I think I have, you know, I could pull some strings with my parents. Yeah. Since they're like, they're doing anything I want. They will. Right now. Yeah. So mm. if you want to come stay at my place, we have a spare bedroom. Colleen. Nice. Or the shed, whichever you prefer. <laughs> well, I, or the shed. Or the, you know, the pool or the pond. <laughs> <laughs> That is delightful, and I will probably end up there. I feel a pull to go back to the house, okay, oh, Batilia's wow. house, and just look in the windows and see what's going on in there. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. I can't All just right. leave that be. No, right. well, I'll tell my parents that I might have a friend staying over. Yes, so and I'll find my bindle, but first I want to go see bindle. what's happening. <laughs> All right, cool. So, so we will. I just want to make sure we were clear on that before we do next time on Monster Hearts. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. So we're fading out on you all are leaving um, Dr. Carter's home um, to go on with your day. Um, it was quite an eventful <laughs> was 24 it? hours. Yeah. I feel like we made good progress. I hope so. So, Rodriguez, next time on Monster <laughs> Hearts. 
So I'm imagining it's a mini montage, like one of those like really fast yeah. ones, yeah. Mm. where it's okay. Morgan sitting in my room, mm-hmm. and I'm like ch- like chanting, I, like wave a candle around her, <laughs> and then like throw some stuff in her face, <laughs> and then like ring a bell maybe, mm. or then like. Do like a weird scarf dance. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's just like flash, flash, flash. Yeah, flash, oh, right, right, flash, right, right. right? And it's like yes. anything and like And then oh yeah, oh, and we have like a kitten right next to me that I have to hurt. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, yeah, oh, I don't know. Oh. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. X card on that. X card. Do an X card on that. I'll X card myself. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But I need to prove that it, whether it worked or not. Okay. Right? okay. Maybe you just say like, oh, okay. okay. well, what okay. I'm imagining is you just reach up and like, yeah. Oh, but just like, boop. Yeah, 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 and yeah, I can't yeah. hurt you, right? Like I'm. No, like, it's just, just like bump. you can, but like Kitten. you know, maybe the motivation is not strong to like, oh, bam. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you're able to. Yeah. Oh, cool. But like the small touch would like, yeah. Yeah. Try to try like stuff, right. anything right, right. and just like. <sighs> <laughs> I love that. I love All it. All right. Nice. Then next. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Next time on Monster Heart. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't know. I went blank all of a sudden. I get so en- enchanted by that. <laughs> yeah. No, it's good. What the hell am I doing? Oh, I know what I'll do. Yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I am um, dropping a dead rabbit at the door of the Mayor? Houseboat. Oh, God. As a thanks. Because I like that he woke up in the morning and the wolves were gone. gone. <laughs> and the door was shut. shut. <laughs> what the hell happened? So it I was a dream. dream. <laughs> just stop drinking this. Yeah. yeah. Well, then he, okay, so yeah, Jager I'll just say. Bottle uh, flies out Jager, the door. Yeah, rejoin, <laughs> yeah, rejoinder to that is that, yeah, he does open up the door. Yes. And he's holding the bottle and he's just shaking his head and then he looks down, down and sees the rabbit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, so he kind of shrugs, like, hmm, yeah, maybe, maybe I could use this. Happen. He picks it up. All right, <laughs> Maury. So I'm standing in front of the font, uh-huh. as I usually am, yeah. you know, yeah. trying to make uh, mm-hmm. satanic stuff happen. Yeah. And so, uh, so I'm um, <laughs> chanting, chanting, chanting. Sure. And then the water starts to slowly bubble. Yay! And then it boils. Ooh. And then, I'm, yeah, it starts to glow. And I'm like, oh! And that's it. <laughs> I love it. That's good. <laughs> Nyx, next time on Monster Hearts. Uh, so Nyx is uh, busting tables at the Howard Johnson, mm-hmm. right? Um, and uh, you know, you uh, it's showing him face on. So behind him, a figure steps into view, and it's Coach Steve. <gasps> and he says, "I know, I, I knew I'd find you here." And Nyx, uh, you know, without outside of his eye line, he grabs uh-huh. a steak knife. Yay! Whoa! Wow! All right. Yeah. Lucian, next time on Monster Arts. I am uh, browsing the video racks at the local adult entertainment store uh-huh. outside of town. Yeah. Sensations. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. <laughs> it's almost as good as Scoops. Yeah. 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 And, uh, sensations, too. Sensations. No, just sensations. <laughs> With Z's. That'd be hilarious. Sensations. <laughs> <laughs> sensations. Uh-huh. And, uh, and I, spot, I spot a VHS <laughs> with uh, mm. uh, Doug Stevenson. What's his what's his uh, what's his perform like uh, name? Rex Santa Rosa. <laughs> <laughs> but I recognize his face, and so I pull I pull the thing off the shelf, and I just kind of look at it and go, huh. like I'm gonna yeah. rent it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Santa Rosa. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, yes. All right. Thank you, everybody. On that note, we will adjourn. Huzzah. Thank Yay. you, everyone, very much for your patience and willingness to play. <laughs>